Hello, and welcome to another round of Spud Ventures. It's My Little Ponies meets uh, Shadowrun Cyberpunk uh, style in the Starfinder system. And I'm not in this one. Uh, Digo Dragon's going to be running the show with six players. Uh, I'm just going to be here to uh, handle tech as we do this live. But uh, I will now bow out. Take it away, Digo Dragon. Thank you, Spud. Uh, greetings, Chummers. I am going to be Game Master today. And we have a full group here ready to go. I have Great Din as Icebreaker, the Earth Pony operative. I get to play! The Sradovarian as Leith, the Changeling Mystic. A pleasure. Avis Echo as Nebula Flare, the Kirin Solarian. Everything's gonna burn. Dread Priest as Nivix, the Unicorn Biohacker. <laughs> Wing Cat as Oz, the Changeling Mechanic. I can fix that, I hope. And Zenkarn as Smirk Fluff, the Griffin Soldier. Everything burns at a distance. All right. A little background. We are playing in the land of Equestria. It is a wonderful land of high technology and magic, which has only come back into the world in the last half century. It is the year 2054, and ponies have enjoyed quite a lot of interesting and new things that have come out in recent years. Magic is still fairly new, and mega corporations have been doing their darnness to capitalize on wonderful combinations of science and magic. Bringing us magical powered cars, new kind of spaceships that will take you from here to the other side of the world in mere couple hours, and even new kind of cybernetics to make yourself the best you can be. We're going to begin our campaign here in the west coast city of Seattle. The party here has all been, uh, one way or another, uh, hired on through their fixers and friends and contacts to take on a job that has been put out in the shadows. There's a lot uh, at stake at this job, including the life of a small child. So, the party is to meet up at the Earth and Space Science Museum in, near the downtown area in the morning before the museum actually opens up. They have been given the passcode to get in the front door. And as they mill about in the main uh, foyer, uh, they are approached by a unicorn stallion dressed in a nice black suit, glasses, little earpiece. And he approaches the group as they mill about and nods to them. Good morning. I've come here looking for a team of trotters for a mission. Would you all happen to be it? No, we're just a couple of museum patrons. Can't you tell by the way we look? He giggles at that. Very well. A pleasure as she'll hold out a... Uh... Hoof to sort of shake, uh, Mr. Uh, Bubbles. Agent you... Bubbles. A pleasure. And she'll step back. Is it your real name? <laughs> We're getting off the subject. But this is important. Oh, come on, Kate. I've told you to stop asking questions like that. But... <laughs> No buts. No names. In the best interests of everyone's privacy, Agent Bubbles will do. My employer, the Johnson, is currently waiting across the street. I just came to ensure that the team is actually here before we commence business. We pride ourselves on our... Uh, uh, 
appropriation of time. Thank you. Are there any questions before I take you across? None that can't wait till later. You did wish to hurry, so we should not uh, keep anyone waiting. Very well. Okay. Uh, he will escort you out the building and across the street. Um, cars busily driving back and forth, and he's got to wait for the crosswalk. Uh, above, you know, f a few flying vehicles, and then you have, you know, Pegasi and Griffins flying in lanes. And then high above them, drones delivering packages and other things to different residences flying above that. Quite the busy city, never sleeps. It's a rare yeah. city that does. Uh -huh. uh, once he gets uh, you all across, uh, you enter the Double Double Coffee Shop. It's a small, quiet establishment uh, owned by an old mocha colored earth pony. Her name is Miss Vente, and her shop is set up with several booths spaced a little farther apart than your average shop, which indicates that she finds privacy important. Bubbles points to you to a booth in the corner where you see a middle-aged yellow earth pony. With a light blue mane, she's got a warm smile and a nice dress on. Sitting there with uh, what looks like two cups of coffee in front of her. She kind of stands up when she sees you all. Do you all want to introduce or wait for her? Well, I, I guess Leith will step forward and uh, will, again, offer a... Hey, Hoof and all, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, miss. Uh, the pleasures are mine. Please, everyone, sit down. Order something and be on me. Okay. Um, sh she'll take a, the moment to order a uh, something with a little bit of mint for things and find a nice spot to sort of, uh, s sort of step back and let everyone else take the limelight. Okay. Who's next? A hot chocolate that is more whipped cream than hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and do. Coffee, black. <laughs> Boring. Coffee, black, no milk. Boring. I'll take a uh, power I'll drink that may well be his breakfast. All right. So black coffee, power drink. Anyone else? Uh, icebreaker will have a Horton's. Okay. You said this yeah. is the double double, right? Yeah, it's a double double. Yeah. Yeah. So makes sense. I'll get a Hortons. Okay. Nivix will get a coffee as well. All right. Uh, Miss Vente makes the drinks personally. You hear the little machine in the back, you know, spinning and churring and all that. Uh, your Johnson uh, picks up her personal calm and she starts tapping a little bit on it. All right. I'm glad that I have you all here, as time is very limited for me and uh, the person that's in trouble. Um, <clears throat> so the reason that I have needing a team here is that there is a small filly who I'm trying to rescue from her very abusive father. Her name is... I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, her name is Coral Shores. Uh, she is about 12. And she's currently pretty much under house arrest by her father and her own home. Uh, a little background. Uh, her mother had uh, worked a pretty good uh, job at a uh, bio lab. Uh, on the outskirts of town. She met an unfortunate fate a few days ago. And, of course, the estranged father now basically inherits custody of a little coral here and is 
probably not really all that interested in her so much as interested in the rather substantial inheritance that Coral's mother left her. Coral, so, of course. Go ahead. Oh, uh, it's just the once this is done, I will, you know, roll to see what I remember about the company and whatever the mother was working on as, you know, biohacker with biotech interests. Okay. So you, you finish that. I'll just make the rolls for after. Okay, Ducky. So likely what's going to happen is poor little Coral is going to be shipped off to boarding school somewhere in New York while her father uses his influence to basically take control of the estate that was left to her. I see. And the father's name, in case he is a bit more on site in regards to matters? Let's see. The father's name is Ricardo Shores, uh, sometimes known as Rocky in the business world. Uh, he kind of deals a lot in banking and such like that, life insurance policies. So he very much knows how to uh, find the loopholes to get a hold of this money. The money's really not that important. He can have it for all I care. But this filly needs to be with family that actually cares and not shipped off to some locked away boarding school and basically left. And your connection to the filly is? Personal. Okay. Very personal. Just know that she will be reunited with family on her mother's side. Do you know about this? The filly. Um, just as a side, uh, Nivix, uh, it's a life science skill check of 15. Uh, with, and with the biotech theme, the DC is reduced by five. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, Coral's mother, you may have heard of a Dr. Shores who has, uh, worked in, uh, the bio industry doing, uh, cutting edge bio cybernetics, things like muscle implants, uh, bone transplants, things that just kind of are much stronger than what you're born with. So basically, building a better you, but organically. Which is something Nivix is interested in, definitely. Yes. Damn cogheads sticking metal in them. <laughs> Yes, uh, Dr. Shores always seemed to appreciate a more natural look and feel when you wanted to upgrade yourself to a better you. And her demeanor, and I imagine because we got three people rolling since <laughs> motive, yeah. <laughs> motive, yeah. Uh, okay, well, let's I'm see. I'm just surprised the other three aren't rolling it yet. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> so let's see. Being got, sat on. Yeah, Leith with a 14, Nebula with an 18, O's with a 10, and Nivix with a 18. Okay. It makes me proud that we have so many that took this skill. <laughs> yeah. It's, a very, I, it's very useful. It was one of those, you know, oh, I I get a you know point here, point there, and it's like, you know, I'm just going to take sense motive and just have that as a you know backup option. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, O's, you're not too sure, um, seems to be telling the truth, seems to be okay. Uh, for Nivix, Nebula, and Leith, uh, you definitely can tell that, um, she is truthful, and she's also very nervous about giving out information, um, probably because maybe she's probably got en enemies or something, she doesn't want to be too open about her personal self. Okay. Well, again, I just would, I have one very, one question for you, if you did not mind. Oh, ask as many questions as you need. Okay, thank you. Um, what would you, again, like, given how forthright you are being with us, and I do appreciate that, um, what would you do to, uh, sh should we, with everything except and all, help do for the little filly here, as I want to see that she, 
with how with how rough the situation is, I want to make sure that she does end up in a much better straight. With how rough her life is, just turn. Understandably, uh, my plan is is that hiring you all to go extract her from her prison in her own home, and to bring her to the Hyperloop train station at SeaTac Airport, where I will transport her out of town to where her aunt lives down south. She will be in much better care there than with her father. So we can tell her that uh, we were hired by her family on her mother's side to live with relatives on her mother's side. Is yes, that correct? That is correct. And in fact, uh, the Johnson kind of reaches into a little purse and pulls out what looks like a little charm on a simple string necklace. Uh, the charm looks like a seashell. And she puts it on the table. Uh, you could show her that, and she'll know that it's from me, and to trust you all. Oh, specifically oh, moves it to Lathe before anyone else can grab it. No! Lathe, what? you take this. Okay, I will. She'll take a moment and put it uh, very securely in a small box that she does carry with her and set it to, to make sure it's uh, nice and secure in there as well as make sure the padding is. Oz knows himself and knows other trotters. He knows who not to trust with this. <laughs> All right. And then follow up, Oz asks, uh, so does this Billy want to be rescued? What's her, uh, her impression of her current situation so far as you know? Last I've talked to her, which was a few days ago, she was scared for her life. And she may have good reason to. Out of character, all right. So I don't need to sedate her to get her out of there. Probably not. <laughs> also, uh, depends on the situation. True. Yeah. This is a willing kidnapping, if that's such a thing. It's extraction. It's uh, facilitating a runaway. Yes. Yeah. That is exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, a small drone. Uh, drives up to the table and with its little robot arm, starts putting out the various drink orders and stuff and for everyone. She'll happily sip at the mint drink and will be um, looking to everyone else. Um, do you know what kind hey, if of... I can, if I can uh, cut in for... If you've seen uh, with Rocky, with the fact that he's uh, a bit more on the way with um, numbers, if he seems to perform more... Uh, Oh, regular uh, equish security or tends to be more exotic that you can you can you have may have seen or heard uh, uh, pardon me if i can if i can cut in for just a second mm -hmm. especially for this first session if you could all uh refer to yourselves in the third person use your names so that everyone oh of gets course who you are. i'm sorry yeah okay yeah i can do that for people i'm sorry about that yeah no worries just wanted to I'm having a hard time remembering who's who, so... Understandable. <laughs> All right. Just, want to, just try to keep that in mind. Thank you. That's it. No, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all of us. <laughs> oh, thanks you on a metal level. <laughs> Praise the sun. Okay. Yep. Icebreaker uh, chugs her whole coffee in one fell swoop and then slams the cup onto the table. Nebula mimics it immediately <laughs> and then regrets it. <laughs> Nivix is going to be just, you know, sipping his while using, it's basically, you know, magic, holding the cup while typing away on, on the computer, just, you know, making notes yeah. and such. Leith, yeah, Leith is at the moment in a more of a Pegasus disguise than anything, but is very much uh, sort of sipping happily, sort of wings sort of protectively folded around the drink. <laughs> okay. It's not often you get actual good mint. <clears throat> Not often. Oh, oh um, once, but it barely doesn't finish first. Third, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, Digo, uh, if yes. I, if Icebreaker rolls culture, could I use that to uh, uh, get a feel for uh, one Rocky Shores and how he sort of relates to things, sort of just in general politically, whether he's a, a figure of renown or if it's a smaller situation? Certainly can. Oof. <laughs> Okay, well, an 11's not completely terrible. Um, 
you have heard of him in regards to finances. Um, you know that he has a lot of money and he does invest in a lot of biotech. So the fact that he invests into companies that Coral's mother worked in, you know, there's a connection there somewhere. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Johnson, she uh, answers the previous question about uh, Rocky's particular tastes and security. That is a very good question, actually. Um, I have actually been able to get a picture of what appears to be three ponies that have been securing the house. I'm assuming they're hired guards of some sort, but I don't know much about them other than what a uh, studious associate of mine has been able to look up on the Matrix. So allow me to uh, send this image to all of your personal comms. Those, that is the lineup of the three that we've seen at the house. Leith nods and will uh, be putting the uh, matters into her own computer telepathically. Okay. So all flyers, so we're not going in through the roof then, I take it. What defines fifth I was gonna yeah. say, looking, looking at their crimes, you've look, got vehicular harson. That's good. That's understandable. I, I think we all know what the worst of these is. Yes. yes. The aggravated jaywalking. Yes, I think. Barrel. <laughs> Barrel can fly. What are they walking for? I mean, that's why it's aggravated. Now I can't stop thinking about that. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, probably they were jack jacking the vehicle and uh, decided to uh, just walk down Main Street with the steering wheel, I imagine, after the uh, crash. Is it weird that my immediate thought is less that and more doing, like, mass hacking and then, like, it's just a whole bunch of cars going past each other, crashing into everything, and they just walk through it all because they programmed it? Yes, actually. <laughs> I don't care if that's the truth or not. That's the truth for me right now. Meanwhile, I mean, you have the ability to do it, right? I'm, I'm still going to be stuck on fifth degree murder for the rest of the day. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Nivix is also going to be seeing this, you know, making notes and, okay, what can I use that's good against Pegasi phys physiology? Okay, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Real fast. Fifth mm -hmm. degree murder is clearly murder using some sort of, like, uh, Rube Goldberg device. Because first is premeditated, second is not, uh, is like crime of passion type stuff. Mm -hmm. Third is more accident. Accidental. So like, fourth has to, yeah, four, so fourth and fifth clearly have to be like an accident, like there is no way you could have predicted this. It's like accidents stacked on accidents. I happened to walk past <laughs> this building on this particular day at this particular time, and then it just exploded. You know what? Wait a minute, Shadow Run. I thought about murdering that guy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Did it happen? Who knows? But I thought about it. You can't I prove it. I thought about though. it on one week, and he died two years later, and somehow that's my fault. <laughs> that's Shadow Run, baby. <laughs> Yeah, the first thing Ose notices is the typo in aggravated. Is the what? Typo. Oh. A G G R A, not I. Eh. Blame that as out of character game master. <laughs> yeah, and I guess the next thing would be looking up uh, Dr. Shores's death information as best we can. Because it's one of those was it an accident? Was it, you know. Mm -hmm. something disguised to look like an accident because this is shadow run so you never know yeah and, and was fifth degree fifth murder degree, yeah but was Locke's fifth degree murder of that stallion mayor mayor yeah mayor <clears throat> that is certainly something to do on your legwork when you start uh researching and planning your uh extraction of this filly so we have this photo correct yeah you have this digital photo so okay you have um to go on what would it be for uh, determining the the uniforms, whether they represent a security company or whether that was during their 
numerous usually crimes. Blanket, usually that's a blanket culture kind of check. Yeah. They usually, if it's an, as, most kinds of, like, Ooh, it's not specific to anything in particular fall under culture, usually. I see. It's a really useful skill. I see my roles are going to be low this game. Oh, my. I have. I am not trained in culture. That's the point I put into sense motive. Din rolling on longer campaigns the first episode rolls really low. (laughs) (laughs) It's true, though. My luck fluctuates wildly, so I don't I don't particularly care. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm going to assume with a with a a nat one slash nine. Nah. (laughs) Yeah. Nine. No. Tip of your tongue. (laughs) I can't quite get it. (laughs) Good 20, though. Yeah. <laughs> How do I know this? Untrained I know. culture. Yeah. Untrained culture. Natural twenty-one. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, uh, that's the way the dice roll, don't they? Yeah. I had to put mine in diplomacy, intimidate, and disguise. So, but don't worry. Yeah, those skills will come in handy too. <laughs> All right. So, O's, you're uh, fifteen in culture. Uh, you recognize the uniforms. It is a private security firm. Uh, basically, these three, Lock, Stock, and Barrel, they basically name the firm after themselves, and they deal in very under-the-table, hush-hush, keeping things secure. Nobody should know about this kind of deal. In other words, they're their own Trotter gang. In a way, yes. They're self-employed. Yeah. Uh, Nebula, with that uh, 21, uh, you also find out that uh, they do have, basically, yeah, their own Matrix presence as a Trotter gang. Uh, If you look, you can find them for hire, and of course they command a pretty high price. And they are very, you pay us, we don't ask questions kind of thing. So negotiating with them is difficult. They tend to be very uh, loyal to their contracts. Oz asks, "Uh, do you have a picture of the filly? She did. That was one of the earlier things that uh, was shown. Oh, I I didn't see it, so I didn't know if we got it. Yeah, uh, Mission 01, Coral Shores uh, Shores photo, yeah. Yeah. Cutie patootie. I guess with Leith with is going to think about matters for a moment. So with the three of them there, and the fact that what everyone else is sort of saying that they're more of a tight knit, it's mostly going to be probably we're going to need to do this quickly rather than uh, and expect them to. Uh, well, the other is we could find out the exact details, perhaps, of how they were hired might be something we need to look into on look into with the matrix because if we mm-hmm. can find a loophole that they aren't being paid for we may be able to not have to deal with them directly or worry about uh, retaliation for other matters just hire them to go do something else i don't think we have the funds for that if they're as good as they uh, claim mm. you know so what i love like these is- um, sip of his coffee and be like, so just a just a quick question. Uh, what's our maximum time frame on this job? Well, today is Monday. Uh, her father is going to have her put on a plane for New York on Friday. So you have, yeah, not that much yeah. time. But we don't have to do it tonight. No, no you, you do have a few days that you can plan this out. Um, I will and give you... A, Oh, say that again? We could do it tonight. It won't end well. <laughs> True. The only thing that matters is the filly is unharmed and safely rescued. Nothing, the house, the money, everything else is inconsequential. Okay. So you don't care what happens to it? No. However, it is a house in a neighborhood. Someone may call Buckstar police if somebody's shooting up the place. But you don't Does care it have a it's septic fun. tank? That you'll have to look up. I don't know the details about that neighborhood. 
It's a that was an out of character joke. Oh. So <laughs> sorry. It just remembering the last time that I was in a party and had we were raiding a mansion. Okay. Well, um, if you are accepting the job, I will uh, pay you each five hundred bits for the successful extraction and safe delivery of the filly. That seems a reasonable amount. Thank you very much for your time and patience and understanding. Leith will finish with... Define safe. Unharmed. unharmed. Physically unharmed. I'm sure she will be scared if you end up in a run-and-gun battle with As I said, lock, I'm... stock, and barrel. Just right. making sure. Uh, or, or left alone with uh, Nebula. Hey! Leave the kill on as well. Because don't forget, I'm the four science pony, so. Science. I bet she'd have more fun with me than with any of you guys. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. any further questions? I've um, got one. Uh, does this Rocky Shores fella seem like he might be the type to uh, take his daughter to the airport, or does it seem like. He'd just leave that to some major domo. Oh, he, he would definitely leave it to someone else. He's not the type to dirty his hooves on anything. Not even for his own child. Hmm. He's a banker. What a surprise. Hmm. Seems, to me the ti seems to me the time that would cause the least amount of trouble for all parties involved would be to just grab the filly while she's on the way to the airport. Nah, but then we would just start on taking his house. Oh, taking all the contents of his house. Yeah, they might also expect something to happen then. It's better to do it before then. Do also, if we mess up, uh, very little time for second chance. Hmm. Do you have any pictures of the rest of his house, staff? Uh, that is the only pictures I have. I don't know if he's actually got any wait staff or maids or anything of that nature. Okay. Well, something, may have we can, something we can look at. Mm -hmm. She'll, Leith will say. Um, As I said, we have time for legwork. Yes. Uh, and before you go, uh, just two last pieces of information. Uh, I will give you the address to the house. And I will give you the uh, coordinates to the park where Coral's mother was found dead. In case you want to see the crime scene for yourself. Yes, to both, please, and thank you. Mm -hmm. So she will message you all that information. Okay. If there's any other questions, otherwise, you are free to begin the work. Uh, message me at this number when you are bringing her to the train station. Okay. There will be a private train ready for her. Thank you very much for your time and understanding with us. I wish you a very good day, Leith, and Leith will smile and will step up after she's sort of finished the last little bit of her coffee to let everyone else sort of file out as need be. Okay. Any further questions? Smoke cloth, uh, shake his head, drain his coffee. I'm good to go if you are, kid. Once you're done drinking your disgusting drink <laughs> yeah yeah we'll see the rest of you when we when you know we need to meet up next and i'll you know we'll head out always waits for leaves to be done and then uh follows her out i guess the question is what are we going to use as our heist planning location You are a free cardboard to... box. <laughs> you are free to plan here at the shop if you want. The Johnson will be leaving herself for uh, other business. Icebreaker is going to uh, take a moment and then say, and then slowly pull out another notepad and say, "Well, while I happen to have someone here who who seems to be so well educated, I have a few questions for you concerning your line of work." For uh, for my show, I'll keep the sources anonymous if you want. You're asking this of the Johnson? 
Yes. <laughs> she kind of pauses, sits back down. All right. Um, I don't. <laughs> I don't have any specific questions as icebreaker. She is just going to, uh, you know, since it's semi-corporate related stuff, just get as much info on some uh, on on latest experiments and interesting things happening in the worlds of science. Okay, she'll give you a few answers. Uh, not giving away the company she works for, of course. Of course but, not. Uh, general information on upcoming tech that may be coming out by uh, spring. Fascinating, fascinating. Well, she's going, yeah, Oz is already looking at what public info there is on the place and the park. Do you need a computer's check? Uh, sure. Just general public matrix scanning, and he's probably distracted. You're fine. <laughs> wait, 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 how did I get to... Oh, no, that's bluff. Yeah, it's yeah, the wrong one. It's above. You bluffed the internet. <laughs> There, that's computers. Okay. Uh, it is. It is I'll a uh, roll public as well. Park. Okay. I had to reach on my sheet. Yep. Leith is going to take a moment to sort of reach out to O's uh, telepathically and sort of ask while well, you're at it. Um, check on the, uh, the if there's any maid staff or whatever. We might be able to uh, forge up a something that could get her out for a night or two to a uh, place and all so that we can get both you and I could be able to uh, get in to make sure she's okay from the inside. We're thinking the same thing. So yeah, Oz is uh, getting public info, including any employees. Okay. So let's see, we've got uh, 14 from Oz and Nivix with a 22, nice. All right, uh, the park. It is a public park uh, in the Auburn area. Uh, it's open year-round. Uh, there's not much security or any kind of real camera or anything like that. It's, you know, you go to that park at your own risk. Crime-wise, not really all that much. You may get occasional mugging. Uh, but murder is still kind of unusual and to happen. I believe the the bad place around here would probably be in the Redmond district. Uh, yeah, more of the uh, east side stuff. Redmond, a little bit of Renton on that side. Those okay. More slummy, broken down, abandoned areas that old you know, growth, old growth that uh, yeah, fell on hard economic times and never quite recovered. Uh, the house itself is in the Tacoma area too too far from the airport okay so it would be a little bit around 99 or so a little bit northward of that yeah okay uh what was next on the uh, questionnaire staff of the house i believe yes uh there was a maid that came three times a week uh from happy maid service uh, outside service so not a personal maid, uh, but, but of course, contracted. Okay, yeah, contracted. Contract, of course, was canceled after her passing because, well, they're not going to clean the house of somebody who's not there to pay them. And that contract was uh, ended on her death. Her death was about uh, four days ago. So okay, Monday, Thursday last week. And the contract was canceled on Friday. Okay, and the... But I'm saying for his place is, I think, what he was looking up for Rocky's place where she's staying at the moment. Oh, no, well, she's staying at her own house. Oh, okay, I see. I, yeah. I got you. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Rocky lives in New York. He's not coming over here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I get, you, get you. So they're basically sort of guarding the house as uh, keeping her from going anywhere. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Can we look up a uniform for this canceled maid service? You can. It's pretty easy. I'll give that one to you. You, you get the uniform. It's kind of a light blue with some uh, gray and blue pinstriping. Okay. I started looking into the death report, or at least what's, you know, accessible. 
uh, give me a computer rolls, and uh, we'll see what you can find. Okay, 17. Okay, with that, you find that um, when the uh, body was found by a jogger early on that morning, uh, police report, uh, no known suspects, possibly died the night before. The uh, coroner's office has it labeled as drowning. She was found face first in the frigid waters. So a literal cold case. And of course, my my out of character crime scene watching mind is throwing together possibilities. But it's <laughs> like, no, I don't think that would be. No, probably not. OK. Hmm. So it's we an avenue might, to explore. Yeah, we might be able to get, and the the one mate that was on contract and all. Did, is there anything on like, like social media or something like that that might be like a like a a boyfriend or anything like that? Because the idea I was having is like if we could get me and those in there, we could probably sort of disable security or, or loop security, because I imagine they do have a hacker or decker or something similar to that, to get the rest of us sort of in there a bit more stealthily. If she has a bit more of a like a presence on like any of the social medias for her boyfriend or whatever he poses as that she I go as a someone trying to get a uh, like something that was left there that to get it oh. go. Oh, we'll toss out over a, a better possibility. Oh, the uh, the contract covered one more last cleaning, so it's already prepaid. This is our final service, but uh, yeah, we're here to do it. If we can, yeah. If they there we go. That sounds a. Uh, a better one, especially if they are a bit more on the uh, don't ask questions side. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, the maid in specific does not have a media presence you can really locate. Uh, the company, of course, does. And I mean, just pictures yeah, of we're, their, their entire we're staff. There's going to be other maids from the same service, not the same maid. And that's that's why their maid ain't there. We're not that maid. That's possible. Okay, well, we just need to. I've got the polymorphic suits, so basically, if you can program up that into that, it, we could easily, uh, I could easily cover us that. Yeah, and we have uh, someone with a disguise kit too. Yep, I have a disguise kit. As do I. I mean, longer than the change lengths. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Icebreaker. Right, so we, have half, so we have half the team pretending to be maids openly infiltrating the place to open the way for the other half of the team. That could work. Uh, Icebreaker could also serve as a distraction uh, simply by uh, virtue of uh, uh, trying to serve as a sort of paparazzi influence. If we need a distraction, I know I'm going to be like, Oh, God. Give, just give her a camera and. Oh boy! You don't even leave the details out. Just nebula distraction. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Why? Fair That's stupid. <laughs> Actual reporter on the team, and you have to agree. So contrary what did I miss? Contrary to popular belief, I don't like the spotlight. I think uh, we've got three people trying to. I think we're looking into sneaking in with three people as uh, maids, equivalently, and to help the the other three uh, pretty much uh, get in under with uh, without security. Uh, the, the lock, stock, and barrel being the wiser. If need be, we've got uh, two two or three people on the outside that can be distractions. Okay. At some point, for it, Nivix would like to check out the crime scene. Yeah, and just course. try to get get a you know scientist eye on it. Yeah, Oz is thinking. Okay, we we're given the crime scene; it could possibly be relevant. Let's do that before we start poking this house. All right. Right now, they have no idea that there's even been someone hired to rescue. Let's complete the investigation of the park while we're still at that low zero heat level. <laughs> Is that, I, uh, I have a real quick question. Um, yeah. Was the death of Dr. Shores, like, was that notable enough that, like, it was on, on the news? Or is this sort of a minor hush-hush thing? 
it was minor hush hush, though it should have been more pronounced on the news than it did. Okay. So me looking so icebreaker looking into it is not necessarily the most suspicious thing in the world. No. Okay. More suspicious and, that you're one of the only people looking into it. But again, Icebreaker's whole thing is kind of conspiracy theories, so... So, hey, you're in your element. Kind of works. Yep. Yeah, and the uh, scientific expert dragged in. Yeah, will be on Nivix's side. Yeah, you're a third-party uh, a third party expert. There you go. Okay, so it sounds like we're heading to the park. So... To the park? Yep. Creo que sí. Okay. <laughs> While they're investigating, Oz is going to look up any social media profile or any Matrix notable anything about Coral Shores herself. Like, was she a prodigy? What's her school attendance, if that's known? What public info can be found on her? Okay. Um, Sorry. That's all right. Uh, go ahead and roll that one. Interesting. Okay. Well, you get you get the bonus prize with a twenty one. She's got the average online presence of a twelve year old for the most part. I mean, she has a social media, you know, YouTube like account, and you know, she's into the Pokemon's and the chatting with friends and stuff like that. Nothing out of the ordinary. But you do find that there was a deleted post from about three weeks ago. She apparently was taken to the lab her mother worked at, sort of a uh, bring your child to work day. And she started writing about how excited she was, and, you know, seeing what her mom did for her work and what kind of things they were working on. But it looks like the post was hastily deleted. And probably not by her. Not sure who deleted it, but a lot of the information is just not there. So whatever that post was supposed to be about, I don't think she was supposed to be there. Which means she probably found out something about the lab she's not supposed to talk about. Well, corporate hush-hush. Like, you don't want to reveal a big thing and have someone else beat you to it or accuse you of uh, property theft. Or copyright troll. <laughs> yeah. The DMCs Sorry. are a bit lethal in this time. Of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so Willows is looking that up. Uh, but what's the park like? All right. So let me share the park. And then, also as a side note, O's can, you know, pass that on to Nivix to use the third party eye on it. Oh absolutely let's make sure we build its information. Um I would like to do one thing real fast uh while before uh -huh. we actually get to the park proper. Um, Alright. I would like to have Ragdoll disguise uh or I icebreaker disguise uh, herself not as a um uh as a generic reporter for her own show. <laughs> okay. Um, not implicating any one of her employees, but just as a, but not also not just directly being herself here. <laughs> if well. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's your first session. Uh, first. It's my curse. It's fine. <laughs> it's a 15. That's still not bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You never forget to us. Leith is going to sort of, as she as they find a, a spot and all, and leave and all, she, there's from what was a a, a bit of a sky blue uh, pegasus for things and all. Again, look, a quiet spot. She's sort of going to step out to where there's not too many, there's not really a camera about it, on a like a side alley and all, and sort of switch into a uh, a uh, green, green light green, uh, sort of almost like a sea green kind of earthbound. Okay before continuing on with everyone else. Just sort of someone in the area. Gotcha. I assume that X is the body? 
uh, X is where the body was found. Yeah. Um, the water is frozen up to that edge. Okay. Because it is January and it is cold out. Cool. Uh, Icebreaker is going to look at Nivix and say, uh, if I fall in, I need you to be able to pick me out. I cannot swim very well. She's just going to find a nice little spot, sort of sit down and sort of commune with nature for things. Okay. Breaks ice or ice breaks you? I uh, mean, ne- it would be appropriate if she just <laughs> fell in. <laughs> right. Uh, Nebula, uh, from your vantage point up in the tree. Um, you notice that the park is very sparse. Doesn't look like anyone's around other than you and your group uh, because it's cold and people don't like the cold. <laughs> That's a crime. It's the best time to go to the park. <laughs> Possibly. And also fairly still, you know, a little bit before lunchtime. So maybe everybody went out to grab something warm to eat. I think she's just, I think Nebula is just going to stay up here and just keep watch in general. Okay, fair enough. Actually, uh, curious. a not bad roll. Hey, I, I do have a curious question though. Um, with this, all, have... is there anything with the park that sort of feels off metaphysically? No, it seems like an ordinary park. Okay. Uh, so I got a uh, eighteen perception from Icebreaker, who's ventured out onto the ice. Look at roughly where the body was found. <laughs> Nebula Flare is one with the world. one with the twenty, apparently. Can I take this luck and put it into other games, maybe? Mm. Would it's be nice, you, wouldn't it? Tree. It yeah. would. <laughs> Certain times, the time time time. Time. <laughs> okay, so she sees everything. Uh, anybody else doing something? Stay no, by good. the well, wooden. Nivix is good. Yeah. I try to move the token while talking and it dragged the window. Oops. Nivix yeah, is Ozen. going to be looking out as well. Okay. Oz is just keeping Overwatch for anyone looking at them looking. Okay. Overwatch. Uh, Smirk Fluff? I'm going to stay by the water's edge in case any of them drown or start drowning and I need to go in and save them. Okay. Don't drown, Smirk. You smell weird when you're wet. <laughs> <laughs> Says you, kid. I do say it. Because it's true. Yeah, well, I'm not exactly an aquatic creature, am I? <laughs> All right. So, uh, what we have here is, uh, okay. So, Icebreaker, perception of 18. Um, as you're peering down at the ice, you kind of see little dark stains on the ice, possibly to mark uh, blood. But you also see that there's some kind of object just under the ice in the water, something metallic. It looks like it might have been missed by the police investigation here. <sighs> Uh, O's with that mysticism of 18. Um, you suddenly have this feeling that there was... If magic can have emotions, you felt for a moment anger. There was anger in the past around here. But it's fleeting, and you lose it after a bit. And everything just seems normal again. (laughs) Icebreaker is going to look at Nivix, frown, and say, you wouldn't happen to know any fire magic, would you? No. But I do have this. And pulls out a little saw from his bag. Yeah, that's not why I need it. <laughs> um, because uh, you said that uh, like it's only about to that X where it's frozen anyway, and the rest is just cold water, right? That's right. Okay. Um, 
can I point out the thing to you? Uh, can can Icebreaker point out the 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 shiny object to Nivix and hopefully get Pony Kinesis to work? You can. Okay. She will point out the object <laughs> in the water and then say, "Do you think you can get that, or am I going to have to take a dip?" Should be able to. Yeah. If Oz does share that little bit of things, like Arya, uh, Leith is going to take a moment to sort of hip focus much more on where exactly that sort of that feeling sort of is coming came from, either from like an echo or. Oz does share specifically with Lee's because he knows how to express these things to Lee's and not as much to anybody else. Also, Lee's is actually looking at this. Yes. And uh, you believe that the uh, feeling that you got came from about where the body was found. So that but not, be- from, not from the body itself, but something like overseeing the body, perhaps. An impression, maybe, of when the person died. Okay. Who's got to speak with dead? <laughs> Not until uh, later, I'm afraid. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Plus, you have to go to the coroner's office to pick up the body. And we uh, don't need that hijinks right now. <laughs> <laughs> Weekend at Shores. I promise not to animate anyone until much, much later, okay? Okay, fair enough. Uh, Nivix, Pony Kinesis, no problem. Don't have to roll. You pluck out of the water a cold and waterlogged personal comm unit. Well, we've got our work cut out for us to get this working again. Well, I think I'll know a quick way to dry it off. Hey, Nebula! What? <laughs> oh, God. We heat something up for us over here for a bit. Do you mind if it's gonna get exploded? Never mind. <laughs> it would probably melt, I'm telling you. <laughs> Not like directly over you. I was thinking maybe like, you know, like a marshmallow. You hold it above the fire, not in it. Oh, wow, well, that's demeaning. <laughs> <laughs> Just the thought of some park goers walking up and they see, you know, the... <laughs> Just the scene of a Kieran flame on, and someone with a personal comm on a stick held over her head, just turning it slowly. <laughs> well, look, well, I don't it, have it an... Indi- <laughs> it wouldn't be on a stick. It would just be, you know, pony kinesis and potentially, you know, warming the hooves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, then let's do it right there on, on the water. And you gotta stay there, too. And I'll just... A fire! It'll be fine! Yes, a fire over ice. Yes! <laughs> you know, if... If a I nebula starts fly. heading out for that, it's the pony kinesis on the tail. Drag back. <laughs> pony kinesis on you. Drag forward. <laughs> do, do Kieran have pony kinesis? I do. They do, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Icebreaker size grabs the comm and says, fine, I'll take it home. Maybe I can find an industrial-sized bag of rice or something. <laughs> I was going to say, Nivix probably has that. You could probably work on it with a little bit of time and a good uh, mechanic roll to get it dried out enough that you can turn it on without shorting it. All right. Oz, what is your mechanics roll or engineering? So what is your engineering, Oz? Um, my engineering is plus eight. Okay. Well, yeah. they have Which a- is actually mine as well, so... They have a wet com link uh, that needs to be dried out. Okay, well, 23 to dry it out. Oh, that'll definitely do it. You can open up the case and everything. Get the electronics, you know, cleaned out, padded, dried, put back together. Did it seem like, uh, as far as the body was concerned, that the... Uh, uh, it was found like floating in the lake and, you know, had to like wash to shore or did it seem like someone just threw it in the lake afterwards? The body, uh, as it was described, was on the edge of the ice with the head in the water. Okay. So imagine you kind of like dipped your head in for a drink and you never came back up. 
Yeah. Oh, no. oh, can I, no. that's can a, I use my med kit, or I should say my uh, personal... Uh, oh, how was it named? Personal lab. Custom okay. micro lab. Mm-hmm. To see for any, you know, tra- uh, wording of it, uh, traces from the scene. Basically oh, okay. trying to see if there's any, you know, like, biologicals I can pick up. Sure. Give me a roll. 18. Okay. Uh, you can confirm the dark spots from earlier is indeed blood. And there are also bits of ash. Like there was a fire that was left some ash from a fire here somewhere. From somewhere, I should say. Uh, com, the com, personal com is dried, so uh, I'm assuming you turn it on. Uh, it powers up, and uh, you get the uh, little uh, wallpaper. It looks like uh, pictures of coral shores at various ages. A couple of those pictures are uh, with who you believe is her mother. This seems to match the description. So you have the com link. Okay, exploring it to try to find any recent messages, and particular ones to Coral and or ones that might explain what this mirror was doing here. Okay, uh, you have a... There's a few messages. Uh, She was talking to someone who identifies themselves as employee number 999. That's their handle on the uh, chat. Uh, And the conversation was basically about that the project that they were working on is being moved, and they are both being reassigned. And uh, Dr. Shores was very much against this. And Employee 999 said not to uh, rock the boat because you know how the higher-ups get when the underlings start causing trouble. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the computer stuff. It's one of those, is there, you know, the secured section on the device or was it, you know, basic data protection, you know, you don't keep secure data on your personal devices. It's going to be that latter. This is her personal unit, so she's not going to have anything really corporate secrets or anything on there. But from her personal life that you can access going through the unit, apparently there was restructuring going on at her job, and she was really angry about it, and she was causing a ruckus over it. And people did not like that. Uh, you find some messages from another user that she was talking to that uh, threatens to have her uh, relocated to a smaller office if she does not comply with the mandate from the business at the top. And, you know. In other words, cor- cause of death, corporate politics. <laughs> well, possibly. Um, I don't think they would be the, at least would if the sort of as sort of so listening in to, to uh, O's for the for the most part uh-huh. would chime up. I don't believe this with the anger that I was feeling here. I don't think this this was personal. This was very much a personal matter with what happened, not something dispassionate like corporate. Personal disguise is corporate, then. Or yeah, because the corporate. the options that I'm putting up in my head, you know, the the place your bets on the board sort of thing. The husband, an underling whose work was threatened. The someone higher up trying to, you know, keep things on track. Or the husband because wanted to keep things on track. 
is the husband actually the one thing that we might want to ask is is the husband actually employed by the same company that she works at well, from what Diego was saying invested so he's an investor in the company he's an and, investor but he wouldn't make direct decisions like this okay but if he was threatening if he was threatening to pull out perhaps with the money he makes someone may have been hired to uh, ensure that she didn't rock the boat if it was far enough along. That's one possibility. I I don't know. It's something about that doesn't strike me as plausible. I guess it's, it's it's the sort of like dispassionate sort of response that uh, Rocky has had as far Mm -hmm. as we can tell. Um, I have a question. Do we have an official autopsy report? Uh, yeah, you could have gotten that from when you looked it up at the coroner's office, the autopsy report. Um, drowning is what it lists, water in the lungs. Okay, so it, it officially lists it, the cause of death as uh, suffocation. Yes, okay. by water, because there's no oxygen in water to extract if you're not a fish. Yeah. Uh, okay, one more thing, you, right one thing you do find in her photo album, however. Uh, her photo album is like 99% pictures of her and her daughter. So caring, loving mother is what you kind of get out of that. Uh, But you do see that there are two photos at the end of the album. It's nighttime. The photos are a little blurry, so it seems like she was moving. But you can pick up that she took a photo of someone that looks like they had a purple mane. And they were wearing a white mask. Okay. That's none of the people we've seen so far. Unless our yeah. Johnson. No. What's the timestamp on these photos relative to her time of death? Um, same day. Probably. No hours. hours before, I would say hours. Between the photos okay. and time of death. Okay. So not like th- taking these photos was the last thing she did. Yeah, on, on that note, it's see if there's any deleted stuff on it, because that does leave traces. So see if there's something that was deleted off the comm, and then it was dumped with the body. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll. I'll be assisting on that. Okay, so. 23, uh, you cannot find anything deleted. Uh, there was going to be some assistance. Yeah, which is, I think we take it up to 25. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. They cannot find anything that was deleted. So. All right, next thing to check, any messages from her husband indicating how she, she, she and he got along? There's one message from her to her husband of go to hell, and that's it. Ooh, sounds, yeah. like a, sounds like a perfectly reasonable relationship. Yeah, and that was like a couple months ago. It, they, it Don't looks like they just do not speak. <laughs> they were not on speaking terms. Okay. Icebreaker's going to move over to where the body was found and then shove her head into the water like Dr. Shores was found. Okay. You do Don't so. drown! <laughs> um, I'm going to roll perception to see if there's anything else that might have been seen from that perspective. Nothing unusual that you can see. It's cold, it's stingy, but there's nothing unusual. Get out of the water and immediately going to go find a way to dry off. <laughs> so Put your speak. face over Nebula. <laughs> Nebula is not currently on fire. Nebula would not like to go on fire because if she goes on fire, she can't use it for the day. That's fine. I'm sure there's something I can grab. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to dip out for a second. Okay. Mm-hmm. Leith is going to uh, sort of quietly sort of have her eyes uh, as he's sort of enjoying the, the brisk. Uh, it's autumn or is it more winter at the moment? It is winter. It's uh, January 5th is the date. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. The winter uh, era of uh, this place. And just sort of ask everyone sort of mentally if we're ready to continue on, if, or unless there's something else that we wish to do here. Okay. 
Smack Fluff will sort of shrug, be like, I don't think there's anything left here. We got a comm unit, we know she cared about our kid, great, but I don't really see how this is helping us get, you know, get the job done. I worry when you roll like that. You should, <laughs> because it's open. And I, yeah, and I'm going to say just roll tying in. Up. <laughs> yeah, now what happens if you get rolls of natural one? <laughs> Rock's full, everyone dies. Yeah. I just yep. implode. I'm just going to see if I can, you know, just think about it while we're on this sort of do a life science role to see about remembering any sort of shakeups in the biotech companies that I know of to give us a lead, if possible. Okay. 17. Nice. Uh, you could think of one. You know that recently, and by recently I mean within the past like two months, the Megacorp Shirewasi has <laughs> purchased a few startup biotech companies for a happy sum and incorporated them into their uh, business portfolio. Uh, the startups were attempting to do some new bio cybernetics. Hmm. Specifically, they were working on uh, brain mods. You know, improve your reflexes, your mental acuity, eyesight, what have you. But on the brain side. Interesting. Ponies only use 10% of the brain at any given time. Another 90% just seems so wasted, right? <laughs> I visib <laughs> visibly shaking. Don't JPEG. Um, <laughs> any other questions? Uh, I'm good. I guess. Uh... To the next step. As if on cue. Nebula, you were the most perceptive so far in this scene. You're the first to hear it. You hear what sounds like high pitched buzzing sound. Like a zzz coming from the lake. Not like in the lake, but like above in the air. Uh she's gonna look around and see where it's coming from, maybe sit on Smirk's head. <laughs> oh, God. You, don't, you don't want to be a stool pigeon. You don't want to be a stool pigeon. That's eh, fine. This is normal. If you're getting out that kid, you better have a good reason and a good view. Okay. You see two small flying drones over the lake coming your way. Uh, guys, we got drones. So, don't know if we want to be seen or anything, but if you have anything, you might want to pick it up. Well, this puts the calm link away, of course. Okay. So, we will go yeah. ahead and do initiative. <laughs> Ooh, we can do that. <gasps> and welcome back, Din, in time to have a drone encounter. It would have to be machines, wouldn't it? Yeah. Have to run in. <laughs> Heck. All right, let's see. Initiative. Yep, everybody get their initiative in. <laughs> <laughs> So Din's going fast. Uh, it's because Din just got back. <laughs> That's why it's low. I have a slight question with this. Okay. Prepared biohacks. Yes, uh -huh. no. You mean, do you have something prepared? Oh, uh, it's one of those, it's a daily prep thing, so. I will assume you've prepped before you started the day. Yeah, okay. Because otherwise, it's you know I'm firing empty darts or the pistol. Right, right, right. Yeah. 
no no need to be that realistic. You've I would assume you've prepared in the morning. That seems Yeah, more- though <clears throat> I do not have attunement to everyone, so because I assume we were just meeting and it's it's one of those I needed to uh, prepare while preparing the biohacks to actually could could have attuned well during the meeting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Says, like, there's plenty of time for that. Yes. Yeah, it's a it's a ten minute thing and it's the creatures must be present, willing and able to cooperate with the scan. So it's just, you know, in the background, just you know, scan, scan, scan. <laughs> Well, you're fiddling with a little bit of a, a little custom toolkit while we were talking, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right. what that means is that I can range, I can range boost you without a check. Excellent. All right. So let's start at the top. Uh, Nivix looks like goes first with an initiative of 22. Uh, what's the range? Uh, from where you are, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 65 to the one on the left. Okay, step forward, and I'm going to fire the needle rifle. All right. Nope. Not um, through me, right? Nope. No. Uh, for everyone's uh, information, the drones are flying about 30 feet above your head right now. Well, not above you, but from the ground. They're 30 feet up. I'm just double-checking what my uh, pharmacology thing is. A uh, living creature, so I cannot, I cannot basically make the drones trip out. Right. I can, however, hit it with a minor inhibitor, so it'll be, if this hits, a minus one to attack rolls for seven rounds. Ooh. Okay, the, the, we, we didn't fix that. Because uh, I got proficiency yeah. injection, so... Okay, I can fix that later, no problem. Uh, you yes, rolled yeah, so um, 12. So 12, yeah. So is a twelve against uh, kinetic armor. Yep. All right, that will hit. Yeah, okay. Well, it it dealt one damage, and the inhibitor did take effect. So. Roll number one. Oh, actually, wait. Why did I even roll on that? Uh. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm rechecking the rules on this because I saw something. And I was just double check on that. Okay. Okay, so it dealt damage, which meant that it took effect. If it hit, no damage, no effect for the biohack. So yeah, it's got a minus one to attack rolls. Minus one to attack rolls. Oh, okay. And that's the one on the left you attacked, right? Yep. Okay. All right. You okay, Smirk Fluff, you're in second. Awesome. Um all right, so I'm gonna pull out my you know, Azimuth laser rifle target. Yeah, probably the one on the left, because why not? Uh, and just roll in here, I think. Do I have to roll to target something, or do, do I just roll in the chat window? Uh, you could just roll in the chat window. Awesome. Sixteen, that okay. definitely hits. Awesome. And damage... Be five. So yeah, um, Smurfluff with Nebula sort of perched on his back slash head won't, won't rear up while he shoots, but he'll, he'll try and do his best to stay steady for her as he just like <laughs> blasts. Listen, like, she's you know, used to this. shot at this thing. Just be like, Nebula, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna sit up there, at least, at least help me if they get closer. You got it. 
Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Oz, you are next. Okay, so a swift a swift action to uh, uh, to get the rifle out. Uh, move action to boost up the thirty feet, so I'm on the same level as them. And then standard action to attack, right? Yep, sounds good to me. That is probably not a hit. No, no, it kind of whiffs just under them. All right, well that's my turn then. Okay. All right, this drone now goes. It is making a beeline straight south, not deviating. Still 30 feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <a> suffering. <laughs> and it will target Smirk Fluff. Attempt to. Okay. No, that's my job. <laughs> oh, ow. No, no I, I said no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Neat, I'm dead. So I'll see you guys uh see you guys in a couple weeks then. <laughs> no. Alright, so you take uh four electrical damage. Awesome. As it hits you with a what appears to be a uh, ranged electrical pistol. It goes from just remember stamina first for yeah, through your stamina first. Uh yep, I can do that. Once I figure out how, but I'll work that out in a minute. You guys keep going, I'll work that out. Okay, yeah. I cannot, I don't have the ability to heal your stamina right now, so. One of the things for the uh, archetype I was looking at, it's if it, if it would be overhealing on the health, it goes into stamina. That's useful. Especially yeah, that, as an envoy. That's okay. why I'm I was debating, you know, the archetype, but I, you know, lose all of the theorems I could get, including things like, you know, bonus to injection weapons. But, you know, it, it is a lot more useful, I think. Okay, second drone tries to fire at O's, and that's a whiff, so... Not going to hit with that. All right. Nebula, you are next. Let's see. <laughs> Here, here's, the, here's the small problem. They're 30 feet up the air, and I have no range. Oh. <laughs> Do, can you not use your fire that way as a range? No. Uh, your fire ability is a melee. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, I, right. <laughs> so we're gonna sit here with a a glowing uh red and blue sword in her mouth that looks like that burns just like her that looks like her horn burns just like the fire and is going to wait. <laughs> so hold action. Okay. I yeah. was I was gonna say you could have How's the ability with the pony kinesis to use the sword? I don't know if I can. It, it's the the Solarian weapon is melee five feet only. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah. And nothing can interact. Uh, that's interact. Yeah, it does have a caveat that nothing else can interact with it. Yeah, so it's a. They took steps to prevent like psychokinetic hand from being able to be used on it in equivalence. Which makes sense. Can I pick up a rock and with pony sure. kinesis and throw it at it? Sure. I was going to say, you know, what's the like? How much bulk would you consider her to be? Because the other option is, you know, you get oh, a good huh? enough pony kinesis and just you know fling her at the enemy. Medium people are six bulk. Yeah, a little higher than what you can do with pony kinesis at level one. However, you can totally throw a rock at it if you wish. I would like to throw a rock with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, D20 uh, with Says a... Uh... Charisma. Mm -hmm. No. Not quite, no. That's okay. It's a rock. Yeah. It gets really close, but just kind of just 
a little bit to the left. And it splashes into the water. Oh, and because I do have to kind of say it, uh, photon mode attunement. All right. Photon mode it is. Leaf. Okay. Well, seeing the fact that uh, she's not only going to be one to break cover, she's going to sort of uh, pull the uh, thing right here and sort of move up, and we'll be uh, pulling our pistol. Okay. And we'll be shooting at the one that way, so. Nope. Oof, no. Definitely oh. missed that. Yeah, I figured as much. It's all right. Happens. At least it's not that once like it has been. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, icebreaker, then. My turn, huh? Yep. Hey, guys, what's going on? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to stealth and just not participate because uh, I also have no range. Hey, no range, buddy. I'm, I am. I am not remotely built for combat. I am technically proficient with sniper rifles, but I have none. I have a stun gun that has a range of thirty feet. Ah, so, so I, I have to literally be right underneath them. <laughs> just jump real high. It'll be. Fine. Remember, it's, you just take a little bit of a penalty to hit. That's all. Um, I can make this happen though. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. It's, it's it's fine. I think it's probably for the best if these drones have cameras or whatever that's being transmitted that maybe not everybody is seen. So I'm gonna just stealth. Roll me stealth. Yeah, uh, if I can get my character sheet open, I should have it. Where is my stealth? Ah, I have a plus seven. Oh, hey, hey here's a good roll. You become one with the ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in this tree now. <laughs> you are the tree. You break ice. All right. Yeah, that's my that's my whole turn. Because as I said, I am not unless you get them in a knifing range. At which point they were probably dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then top of the round, Nivix. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm I'm just flip back to the uh, other inhibitors in case I want to, you know, hit them with a stronger one. Well, what I can do is hit them with a minus two to AC. You certainly can. All right, I'm going to hit two with the darts loaded with that. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That will hit. The one on the left, number two. Yep. All right. It is not looking very good. It is starting to waver and having trouble staying up in the air. Now its AC is two less, so it's very easy to smack it around now. Woo. All right. Anything else you're doing on your turn? Uh, that'll be all. That'll be all? Okay. Smirk Fluff. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to shoot at the weird damaged one that nobody likes. Try to finish Perfectly. it off then? Oh, well, that's the plan. Seems like a very good plan. <laughs> I think I hit it. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> I do no damage. It's dead, though. It is dead. You did it! Hooray! <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, Her shoot. It's useful! Hooray! Was it ever to be alive? Ranting blow off the side. Watch this thing explode. Totally planned. And then it... It, like after combat, it's going to be okay. Gather up all the pieces and start going into the systems. That'll mm -hmm. be like Oza Nivix with Nivix potentially trying to salvage the pistols. Yeah, but yeah, that'll that'll be it for my turn, Digger. Yeah, all right. So with uh, Smirk Fluff, yeah, just shoots it with just a gentle tap on the trigger, <laughs> just knocks it out of the sky, and it just hits the ice and shatters into two pieces. 
and it just kind of sits there just the rotors just kind of stop spinning and it just you know just looks sad no. all right the remaining drone it is which is the one I hit with the minus one to attack rolls. Not that I did much last turn. Hey, you've been consistent in hitting, unlike a lot of people. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, it that was a it got a crit on its hit roll. Yeah, I got lucky. Oh, trust me, it the dice will favor GMs sometimes, so <laughs> especially in this. Sorry, uh, O's actually goes first. Right. Well, well, we got uh, this drone right here, and O's is already in perfect position. Let's do a full attack. No. Neither of them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I managed to shatter the ice, or maybe I shattered that uh, one that drone so it can't be salvaged. Was that Nat one? You hit the... You hit the ice below you and you fall into the water. <laughs> I'm flying at 30 feet. Yeah, he's flying up at 30 you feet. Somehow do that. You shoot at the drone, the drone just <laughs> managed to be just a little faster than you can track it with the bullets. So it managed to get ahead. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to do? That was a full attack. It was my entire action. You're right. Okay. So the drone goes now. Okay. So it is going to randomly pick a target, and Nivix becomes its next choice. Good grief. Oh, oh. And, that's, and once again, that's the one that I hit with the minus one. Not that it does shit. This drone is <laughs> OP, and we need to steal it for our own use because of how OP it is. <laughs> this drone is just crazy. All right, that's six damage. Oh, at least it's not laser pistols. Thank what God. What happens when your SP hits zero? Nothing. It's just basically you start taking HP damage. Yeah. It's when your HP hits zero that uh, you have problems. Yeah, you start having to spend resolve points to stay alive. Think of okay. SP like your shield points and your HP as your hull points. Well, I'm not sure how to reduce it, but yeah, I'm at zero currently. Yeah, there's no bleed over though. If you basically say what you hit zero and you still had damage left over, it would go to HP. So, but if you, you just hit zero on, it, on the dot, then you're good. Oh, it it has moved, and it has just basically just buzzed right by and just keeps going. It is not deviating on its course. Nebula. It's still thirty feet up in the air, ain't it? Yeah. What's your move, Neb? 30. Ah, oh, you're too far away. I was going to be like, okay, so here's what you do. You run to the tree, do a cool ninja flip off it, <laughs> and then kick it in the face. I mean, what? I, do I dare say the forbidden, what are jump rules? <laughs> Better than what is grappling. <laughs> that was my next question. Because I can, I can use half of it to get, like, right up next to it. If I can jump, I can hit it, maybe. Uh, Pony Kinesis is, what, 20, 30 feet? 30 feet? I, I think it would be an acrobatics check. Like, for me to jump up, do you go? Oh, to jump? It's um, athletics for jumping. Oh. <sighs> 30 foot vertical leap. <laughs> Listen, I have two skills that I have that I'm good at, and you just said one of them. Because, <laughs> like, why not? Why not? You know? No. No. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> this is this pathetic Shut little halt. It's like, eh. Do you want to attempt to at least try and maybe hit it with a uh, pony kinesis or throw another rock? Let's try and throw another rock. No. No. Close, but not quite. I'm going to simmer in photon mode again. Okay. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I didn't realize Jones was OP. 
I just have this image of the puffed cheeks. You, you're wearing. 100% correct. You're oh, 100% Lord. correct. I can picture that. She she is very expressive. Oh, and uh, just FYI for everyone, uh, for damage, uh, for your stamina point stuff, uh, on your character sheet on the top main tab, uh, at the bottom you have a max and a current number. Yeah. yeah, and I entered it into fatigue. I entered the six in fatigue, and it you know counted down SP to zero current. Okay, excellent. All right. Going next, uh, Leaf. Uh... Drone doesn't seem to want to stop for anything, so I think it's going to get away. Four, five, six. And she's going to try once more with the pistol. Because it did take a shot at someone. So, let's see. Oop, come on, you. That's, That's a hit. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, right. I double-click damage. It should be a D6, not a D4. Don't know why it wanted to default to that. And you can start. Yeah, you can, there you go. Yeah. All right. Five points. Nice. All right. Yep. I'll have to figure out how to change that. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, that certainly, uh, well, if drones could be bloodied, this one is bloodied. <laughs> All right. That's uh, anything else you're doing? I that was my move and everything else. So okay, it's Ice sleeping cool ones. Okay, <laughs> let me just check my inventory. Did I suddenly get anything? Nope, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, like it's just you're not nobody's not everybody's going to be ready for every situation, and this is not her deal. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> and you know, N Nivix just has you know the. Uh, needle rifle in basically disassembled in his bag and it's just you know pull it out slip the barrel in lock it good to go all right this, this is exactly what nebula is good at except when things are not flying above her head true all right nivix <laughs> okay I'll, I'll make a note to have like crawly walkie drones next time <laughs> oh, they're in my eyes <laughs> God, <laughs> a swarm of insect drones all over. Nah. <laughs> you got to get back to the past. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nivix, your turn. I should ask: does does it have resistance to any energy? Mm, no, I mean these are like high end personal model drones that you could probably okay. get for a few hundred dollars. I'll I'll just whack it with the minus two AC. So that's I don't know how to you know put the uses available, but I'm down to two at the moment that I can restock when we do a ten minute break. Okay, no worries. I'm sure. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven total. Yep. Not quite. No, just misses it. Damn it. Yeah. You want to take a move action? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Smirk Fluff. Redeem the party. Yes. You've been consistently uh, smacking uh, this. Oh, good. So this would be a really bad time to be like, so I want to do a full attack and shoot well, twice. You still, got a good, you still have a positive to hit even with the full attack. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, screw it. Let's try it. Let's see what Do happens. <laughs> well, you hit Stop. once. <laughs> so the uh, first attack hit hits. Once. Yeah. Max Sorry. damage! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's almost like this is what I was built to do. <laughs> okay, well... Others. Yeah, you, you waste that one and it gets blown out of the air. <laughs> that one comes down in a rain of tiny little pieces. Yeah, that's why the second shot missed is you were shooting where you expected it to be and it just wasn't there. 
No. Nope. There was not enough target to left to attack. Okay, okay time to right. gather up gather up the pieces, GTFO, and figure out what the hell these were for. All right. The party so gathers the pieces and GTFOs. I'm gonna be so mad if we've just killed some random hobbyist's bird watching equipment. <laughs> Why oh, do they have electrical guns for bird watching? This is shit. They really run. beat good. <laughs> Listen, good. I don't want to tell you what to do, but them them geese are dangerous. Oh, I see. If I know anything about genetically engineered birds, <laughs> to continue the war against Obi the would approve. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now now I just have horror horror thoughts about the cyberly enhanced geese. Oh. Okay, well on we that don't need that. <laughs> so you're, cool. you're you're thinking small. I'm thinking a swan mech. Oh no. <laughs> Why'd you make oh, it wow, worse? Um... <laughs> What Is about you know peacocks? In for that image, <laughs> oh, are loud. Okay, all right. So um, party regathers probably maybe like a quiet corner shop or something. Somewhere that isn't here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go to like a Stuckies or something. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's, a, it's an American place. Yeah. I gathered that, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's basically like a little like road stop. Yeah. Restaurant kind of thing that you kind of combination gift shop diner. Here, oh, yeah. let me uh, let me let me find you the perfect version of it. Oh dear. <laughs> I want a I donut. Here, I have linked a Stuckies. <laughs> uh, we have them, I think, around here. Neat. I think there's one on the other side of my state. <laughs> they can oh, look. Yeah, they can. They can look nicer than this. I just picked one of the crappiest looking <laughs> ones Google Images had, which is just this, the abandoned Stuckies. Y'all need llamas. <laughs> mm. All righty. Let me drop some potential XP upon the party here. Oh. It's a long house with a diner in it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right. I do like XP. So as you sit in the diner in a nice little corner booth somewhere, it's a little bit after lunchtime. Uh, you have parts of two drones, what's left of them. And, uh, that's... Yeah, for the most part, people think you're just weird hobbyists that are just, you know, trying to fix something you broke. They don't care. They're ignoring you. So everything's perfect. All right. Computer or engineering to analysis. Okay. The, which one? Or does it matter? Uh, just make a general roll for both. That's fine. I'm certain I can definitely help here. <laughs> Yeah. Don't forget, if you want to restore your stamina, you can spend the resolve point with the time here to, yes. to bring your stamina back to full. Yes, you can do the 10-minute rest here as we're investigating. You can multitask, mm. rest, relaxation, and getting into trouble. <laughs> well, at least, it's not, at least we're not burning down our shonies. That's true. <laughs> yes. Plus, at this yes. point, I think we could, could do the... Uh, it's called Take 20. I think it was saying. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's not rush, and we're just sorting it out. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's still a perfectly fine engineering role. Uh, dirty 20 there. All right, so uh, yeah, these are, I mean, they're not really expensive drones, probably maybe 200 bits each. Uh, moderate to high end of the personal grade that you could probably get at a store like a hobby shop. Uh, they have been slightly modified because they normally don't come with weapons. But uh, you do recover two basic uh, electrical pistols. 
that were modified to work in the drone, and they both have a camera. Uh, the cameras basically work like, think of a GoPro. Okay. They film stuff, put in a little storage, mm. and you can easily read the memory. I'm not going to make you roll for that one. It, it Basically, they were around the lake looking, I guess, for people who showed up, and they took interest to you all because you showed up where they were looking, yep. namely the crime scene. All right. Can I use my profession here? Sure. What would you like Mult- to do? Multimedia specialists see if they were if there was any sort of live feed because there usually is for a drone in order to actually sort of get a good yeah feel on where it is. Go for it. Hey, that's oh, not bad. Twenty one. Hey. All right. All right. Uh, they did have a live feed, and apparently, given the range is very limited on them, whoever was uh, controlling slash watching these drones was at the park. Okay. Not that it was a small park, so they probably would have gotten away unless you specifically knew you were looking for someone. Yeah. Um, would these be the kind of drones that someone doing a... Uh, uh, I'm Like, continuing along the line of, you know, multimedia specialists, does this feel like the kind of drones that people would use to do remote recordings? For hobbyists and people who are not professionals, yes. Okay. But if you're looking for like professional journalists and news mm-hmm. anchors and forecasters, this is a little basic. Yeah, it's a little chintzy. Um, okay, so not really a lead there exactly. All right. But good to know that at least... Uh, the rest of you will need to disguise yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Again, like she's she still has the current disguise of things, but she's taking a moment to uh, she can again one day leave and all and find a, a more quiet spot. We'll probably shift again. Has a face stuffed with donut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any more questions? Yeah, how are we going to divvy up these pistols, folks? Well, I say to those that don't have them, I say give them that way. Because I, I do have a pistol that I'm happy with using. How many of us don't have uh, ranged weapons? I mean, I have a ranged weapon, it's just my range is 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that a pistol will be that much better. <laughs> yeah, what is the range on the... Uh, these would be the equivalent uh, equivalent of a uh, static arc pistol, which is a range of 50 feet, and they do 1 die 6 shock damage. Okay. Are they on, even... Uh, are, question, are they even usable, or have they been heavily modified enough to fit with the drones that they're not... Quite they've, usable only been, for us. they've only been uh, lightly modified. Um, they do have an electronic firing mechanism that you can use a basically a computer to fire them with. Hmm. So they have an internal electronics, but they still have the triggers on them. Fair so. enough. I was going to say if they're electronically done. So, Winged, what did you take for the mechanic? Did you take the exocortex or the drone? Exo. Ah. Uh, so I was going to say, if it was a drone, then we could just, you know, see about potentially twin linking it on the on the drone and just surprise. <laughs> but uh, with the electronics and the pistol, you could use like your own personal comm to fire this gun with if you wanted to be fancy. OK, so potentially one for Nebula and then just, you know, get the range option. And the other one we could use as a potential decoy weapon. True. That implies we trust we trust Neb with a gun. <laughs> Fair <laughs> point. <laughs> Draw the gun away from her. As as Nebula says, last time I had a firearm, I shot Smirk. <laughs> oh, Why do you think I don't have one? 
I, sorry, my brain just immediately went to, why are we giving the Kieran a firearm? Kieran just raises an arm on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are not giving Nebula a firearm. Nebula oh. does so, not need a firearm. Nebula is a walking nuke. So oh in that in that case, it's probably going to go into Nivix's bag for now. Okay, fair enough. All because right. it's one of those, if I can modify it to basically be like the arc thrower from XCOM, it's the non-lethal <laughs> takedown option. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait, is that bag where a nebula rides usually? What? As in, did <laughs> no. you just give nebula the firearm anyway? No, no, I don't think nebula rides in Nivix's bag. Maybe get in the bag. <laughs> Bag, <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I got to give you a bag of holding? You set up a little <laughs> studio probably... apartment in there. Oh, get the, uh, anyway. <laughs> well, the other other funny joke is accidentally his nebula accidentally injects one of the one of the drug vials prepared. Oh boy! Oh. <laughs> you tripped not here, giving right? nebula drugs. No. <laughs> Why are my nostrils whispering to me? Okay. I, have to ca- I probably have to carry her around everywhere as is. I don't need her being like high as a kite on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get the get that camera feed. Like pull what the cameras got, just so we that we know what if anything they saw. Yeah. Okay. Also, see like especially with that at the beginning, you know, see if they were dumb enough to get caught on camera launching the drone. Fair All point. Right. Um, you get uh, two different videos of joggers that don't look like they have anything to do with anything. They just happen to jog by the area, so the drones, of course, film them. And they then get uh, two different points from over the lake on your group. Uh, you can see basically you guys doing what you were doing, uh, investigating the area, climb a tree, be on the lookout. And saved screenshot of Nebula in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, then they were heading south. They were probably by remote command. Anything uh, on the other end of the timeline? Nothing unusual, no. So no uh, shot of whoever launched them? No. They didn't start filming until they were over the lake and... They noticed movement, essentially. All right. So, Are, is we... there like a GPS log or something of where they've been? Uh, no, no GPS. G- I was going to say GPS log slash chronometer. Like, how long was it in the air? Use that to track based on its speed. Okay. Uh, chromo- cr- chronometer. 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 Okay. Thank you. Words. <laughs> the time clock thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. These things have been over the lake for about mm, two hours before you guys got there. So, in the morning. And it looks like, given where they were, how fast they were flying and stuff, they were probably definitely launched from the other side of the lake, the north end. At a, so, it's one of those, how long has it been since our meeting at the uh, museum? Uh, you had your meeting, let's say, 8. It is now 1 o'clock. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It is. Okay, so if we assume they were launched from the north, can I roll culture to see what's to the south, what they might have been heading towards? Okay. Oh, good. No. Nope. Wait, diplomacy? That's the wrong <laughs> skill. <laughs> Slightly better. Yay! <laughs> Okay. Uh, south of the park is uh, commercial shops, storefronts, stuff like that. General traffic, so if somebody had a vehicle waiting, I suppose they could pick up the drones and drive off with them. Yeah, more crowded area than the park. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of vehicles, witnesses. But little drones like this probably wouldn't be out of place since they are just kind of hobby drones. 
So most people would just see it as a nuisance. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. So it's a Monday, right? It is a Monday. And it's 1 p.m., so school is still in session. Yes, but she's not going to school. Coral, that is. She is locked at home. You going to call the truancy office? <laughs> no, if, if she's not going sure. to school, then we can proceed now instead of waiting until she gets home from school. Ah, yes. Cold social services gonna... and see what happens. <laughs> Show up as a truancy officer. <laughs> hey, kid's not at school. That's a fine. I mean, it's not fine. You'll get a fine. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Need to refine your wording. <laughs> okay. So I guess next stop is the house. Oh. Oh? Yes, no? I said, I think so. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Yeah, I'm all, I, all I heard on that was the, oh. Yeah. Nope. All right. All right. So if we're heading to the house next, uh, definitely taking 20 on the disguise check to uh, look like a maid. Okay. Yeah, we'll be doing that. So, um... That would be a uh, 20 with the kit as well. That would be a 28. Okay. I guess if I'm taking 20, that's a 30. <laughs> and 29 here. Who are you people? I don't recognize any of you. <laughs> 21 would be Nivix's, but I'm on the outside party right now, so. Okay. Hey, disguise is always good in case the Buckstar police show up. <laughs> All right. Basically, the the part of the his you know get the hair dye out. <laughs> yes. Because i I decided you know the red hair is you know dyed. So. Okay, that's fair. All right, I shared a uh, overhead picture of the neighborhood. So you get an idea of how nice and clean and perfectly pristine it is. It's a nice neighborhood. This neighborhood looks like my neighborhood. <laughs> that looks like my house. There's a pool I, in that backyard. I just hope we're not having to peel out of here in a Buick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. How about a Bronco? Do you want to rent a vehicle or something to take the girl? Or Philly, I should say? Bus can drive. Who has piloting? I have a general plus three to it, but no training. Plus two, no training. Oh, I removed my dog piloting because we did. I thought someone else was doing vehicles. Well, the thing is, I could potentially plus make a four. serum. Let me let me double check. Worst case scenario: get away public transportation. Y'all hire an Uber. What's this vehicle you guys speak of? I ride Smirk. Okay, well, for general vehicle operation, you probably don't need a roll. You'd only need it if you're trying to, like, lose a tail. I know. Do some kind yeah, of you, case, you, you, so. you don't need pilot to ride Smirk. Nope. It's animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm not even going to go there. I'm not. I'm going to be the I'm going to be the adult in the situation. So, so I just was flipping through to the uh serums that I theoretically could make with my, you know, kit. Yep. And I do not have a piloting one. However, I do have a plus 2 to comp eng physical science, life science mysticism, sleight of hand stealth. And then acrobatics and athletics, called the commando one. And then I also can make a serum of appearance change. Neat. It's still recognizable as yourself unless you attempt a disguise check to alter alter your features enough. But it's it's basically you know you modify out your colors a little. Okay. Let's use that. Yeah, maybe let, let her uh, look like a maid. There is also the serum of sex shift. 
Let us Wait. not use that. Yeah, Just I was going to say that's the. Item. Yeah. Oh, what? Isn't that a level three item anyway? Let me look. But it's just one of those, you know, if we really need to, you know, if they're looking for, you know, the Philly, swap over to a foal for as long as it takes to get out of there. Oh, yeah, it is a level three. Appearance change is level one. Okay, well. Yeah, appearance change. Let her look like a maid, and then one of us looks like her, so they regard to think that just a maid's leaving. And then the one of us who's staying behind uh, can shape shift back to a maid and get out that way. So I'm assuming that that means that one of the changelings is going to be left behind. I don't think I'm that good. I think I'm good, but I don't think a disguise kit will let me be that good. (laughs) Yeah, one or both of the changelings depends on the guards. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's level three. We wouldn't have access to that. So what are you talking about? The tech shift doesn't. The appearance change is level yeah. one. Yeah, appearance change is level one. As a serum of healing, Mark one, which is what I basically need to craft if I need to heal your asses. <laughs> Do we have any floor plans for the home? We did look them up, I believe, because we were looking into the house, and we asked. We were looking into like general, like the maids and some of the mm-hmm. people that were. If not, we could probably pull that pretty quickly, because, or at least what's publicly available. I mean, yeah. well, it's a cookie-cutter neighborhood, as I like to call it, where mm-hmm. floor plans actually can be easily found, because they build your home to spec, you choose the layout, they'll build it, and this is that kind of neighborhood. Yep. Every house in my neighborhood has the exact same floor plan, it's just a matter of if it's left or right focus. Yeah, I've seen a number of those, because... With my job, I, I'm ending up, you know, making the, okay, here's the where the roads are going for the subdivisions, so. Mm-hmm. That's a computer's to see if I can grab a floor plan. <laughs> you can. All right. Let me share. Ooh. There you go. Let me toss this into my saved stuff. It has an attic. Mm. Four bedroom. Yep. Three bath. Uh, I I saw a sunroom, but I read that as gun room because of the <laughs> the letter. Sorry. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Welcome to gun room. We have those in Texas. <laughs> yep. I bet you do. Mm. We have them here in North Carolina. All right. So, yeah, it's a very nice house, because back when father and mother were together and stuff, they were both doing very well. And then when they separated, father moved to New York, and mother got the house. And she was still making enough money that she can pay the mortgage. Okay. So Um, stop the fire in the pantry. (laughs) I like how that's the first thing you think of. Mm Mm-hmm. Um. So it's a it's a single story house, correct? It's a single story. Um, there is a second floor, but it's just basically a, a single room with a half bath in it, sort of like a place yeah. for an office or something. Mm-hmm. And it just basically this... goes over the garage area and leads into the attic. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so it's like a rancher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can think of that rancher. Which is why that has that extension over the garage. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so basically we need, just looking back at Pony Kinesis, we need to hit fifth level to be able to move four bulk. Oh, well. You're to carry me with Pony Kinesis. <laughs> Rip from Pony Zillow or Pillow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dinal. All right. So, what's the game plan? You have the house there. You. It's about well, a little after one, one thirty now. So the three of us who are disguised as maids uh, roll up to the front door and knock and introduce ourselves as 
the cleaning company whose name we have um and hey the contract may have been canceled but it turns out we were paid for one last cleaning service so yeah your number may is not here but we're here to finish up the contract <laughs> Oz is going to let someone with a better bluff score say this. Yes. <laughs> How does a 17 do? <laughs> all right, let's do this. I will put you all on the map, and you all can position yourselves where you like. All right. <clears throat> oh. Okay, that moves up. You want to check for outer security or whatever? Feel free. Oh, my non-existent perception score. Ah. I guess, yeah, let me roll perception for before we actually get in there. Oh, good, it's a nine. <laughs> oh, good, it's an eight. Because we can supposed roll to be fighting for higher numbers. <laughs> perception unskilled, yeah? Oh, uh, untrained, yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah perception can. can be untrained. It, oh. You don't require training to look at stuff. <laughs> you don't oh, know that. Oh, oh. So we have a nat 20 and a, a dirty 20. Sorry, I, I, I don't have enough ranks in order to see. <laughs> look, <laughs> look with your special eyes. <laughs> so Amos, I just had a, I just had a moment that made me laugh. I, picturing, I picturing just a Nebula and Nivix using the pony kinesis to poke each other. <laughs> I mean, considering how how low I we rolled for perception, that's probably a hundred percent what's happening. The psychokinetic slap fight. <laughs> I was clearly just getting into character. Yes. Stop touching me. Okay. Uh, where did I go? Uh, you're at the bottom of the map. I got there you. There you go. Okay, yeah, because it it went off my visible screen for some reason. Okay, we got a huddle by the garage. Excellent. Okay. Boy, I hope y'all are stealthy. One on the, one on the garage. <laughs> all right. And, uh, and 20 for both. Well, y'all are sure. going in. Where else are we going to go? Do you have to be right up against the house? Yeah, I mean, you could. <laughs> anyway, let me uh, give you the results of your perceptions. Okay, so the 2, 8, and 9. Um, the only thing you notice is that all the blinds and window curtains have been drawn, closed. So, I mean, you're trying to peek in through, like, the edges or such, and, like, it's dark. Although you can see some lights from the kitchen area, so it looks like somebody's home. The child. Let's see. The 13? Um, well... There are cameras around the house, uh, specifically front door. Watching the front door, there's one over the garage car door, <laughs> the driveway. Uh, the three of you that are on the side of the garage are outside that camera view. And there is a camera in the back that watches the uh, patio patio area. Yep. And with the 220s, good grief. Okay. With the two twenties, for let me see. It's, okay, we'll give this one to Smirk Fluff. I'm gonna mark an X right there by the uh, bath next to the master bedroom. You notice that uh, that is outside any and all cameras on this house and neighboring properties. So that is a blind spot for security. So if you're looking for a window to break in, that's the one to do it. And for Leith, she's going as a bit of a, a little bit, a little bit, not quite off white unicorn. It's at this. Okay. You manage to peek in through like the corner of the dining room windows, and you do see one of the three lock, stock, and barrels in the kitchen area. Look like they're cooking up something. And it's a lock that you see. Okay. But she would be knocking on the door, too. 
understand. Probably, yeah, getting the attention. I guess with the intercom uh, would yeah. be the. That would be what they would do. Yeah. So you knock on the door. And the lock kind of stops what she's doing in the kitchen, walks over to an intercom on the wall, pushes a button. If you're for the government or the church, go away. We already gave to the IRS this month. No, that's not it at all. Um, we're from – she would list the company because I the, boy, the name escapes me right now. But I imagine Happy at this Maids. point yeah, – yeah. Happy Maids. Happy Maids. And there's been an, a matter with the uh, service contract that you still have a free, a free cleaning for things. Is, and we are coming out to uh, honor the contract as per uh, regulations. We don't need anything cleaned. Uh, that's fine. You could just take the money and go. <sighs> I... I know it's a real pain in the butt, but if you could do us just a little favor and at least sign our paperwork that lets us inform our boss that that's the situation. Because Otherwise, they... we're going to get a real headache. And they're going to fine us as well for, uh, di- for clean, not that... De- well, dining and dashing and equivalents. Activated my voice modulator, by the by. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All yeah. Right. I was going to say, we probably should have the, uh, you know, stuff, stuff planned in case this fails. <laughs> all right. Comes to the door, cracks it open. You see there's like a little chain that keeps the door from opening all the way. All right, what do you want me to sign so you can go away? Just a moment, and uh, going to reach into uh, bags and see how very quickly she can come up with uh, something to uh, suitably cover <laughs> this. Um, actually, I have a question for you, uh, Digo. Like, was Charm Person and all as a spell? Um, would you say that it's something that can be done with uh, just like how, like what would you say would be the restrictions on it for casting it? For charm person? Yeah, for charm person. Like if to use it as a like you're talking to someone and trying to like use it as in that fashion. Would you allow that or no? Uh, is there a sleight of hand or? Yeah, sleight I... of hand is a skill. It would be, uh, I guess, sort of hand. I don't know if it's that, but it would be bluff mm-hmm. to sort of disguise it that way. Yeah, do, do bluff. To... Roll me bluff to try to disguise your spell casting. Okay, please be nice to me, dice. Uh, not the best. <laughs> Can I aid that? Well, if, you, uh... if you're interacting with that, then you're probably the one he's focusing on. Yeah, I'll let you aid. Okay. Do I do I roll for that or? Yeah, it's DC ten. Easily. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my bluff is plus ten, so. Okay. And the DC to resist a charm spell. Oh yeah. Um. Let me see. Uh. How? See how do I cast this? Um. Right. Just a. Uh, it's fourteen, I believe. Fourteen. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, there. Nope, dang it. Right here. Uh, there we go. Okay. She blinks, kind of frowns. All right, fine. Just. Whatever. Just. You want to clean something? Just go clean the bathrooms in the hallway if you need to. I'll sign whatever you want. Thank you very much. Just Thank the you. bathrooms, nothing else. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, All right. So we're in? You're in. Sweet. Uh, how do we want to split this up? <laughs> well, while you, two, while you three figure out which baths you want to take on, let me go to the second team outside the other bath. And what are you three are going to do? Like open this window. Yeah, I'll okay. boost. I'll boost Nebby up and then see if she can. Okay. How are you gonna open it? Uh. Try brute force it open. You want to try to? 
I want to try and lift it up because I, don't I know. do have sleight of hand for that. Okay. Um, we'll say uh, you could fiddle pony kinesis on the window, and you manage to get it open. <sighs> yeah, Smirk Fluff's probably going to be taking point. The big, big feather ball is going in first. Okay. Uh, roll stealth. Yep, roll stealth. Awesome. Time to completely fuck this up. Oh, oh no, 19. That's not bad. 19 is good, yeah. All right. You managed to crawl in, hop into the bathroom, the master bathroom, and everything is teal. Bath mats, towels. The... Gross. Yeah. I hate this so much. <laughs> This is legitimately the worst. How did you so perfectly capture the image of hell? <laughs> <laughs> Even the tiling in the shower is teal. It just, is the bonding was... also teal? Dante wants to know your location. <laughs> <laughs> I just Everything had... in the house was blue. <laughs> I hate this. The rest of the house is fine. Everything's nice. You know, the walls are kind of like a, a cream to eggshell white. The carpeting in like the living room and the bedrooms are like a soft blue. Reasonable, moderate wood furniture. But just this bathroom just screams like somebody colorblind decorated it. I, or worse, want, someone had a theme. <laughs> I want to edit the original plan. You said fire in the pantry. I say fire in this room. Yeah, you can, you can yeah, I agree with you. It. I, I, I need to make an executive re- decision. Do you know I'm that if you, start a fire, it. if you start a fire, the fire alarm will go off and alert the fire department unless you disable the fire alarm. <laughs> okay, that will sure. probably be my end with the computers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should stop encouraging players. Look, I have an incendiary well, grenade. We can work this out. Well, don't ah. don't forget. Don't forget. The last time we did something like this, it was Gustav crawling through the sewers to blow the sewer up beneath the house to cause a distraction. This That's, is low scale. Yeah. Um, That's a good distraction. Yeah, think, yeah. yeah. And uh, one of the guards was actually... On the John at the time it blew up. Oh, sad. Yeah, I'm going to pick out each of these, like, um, sort of adjoining, uh, like, doors to the other room to see what they lead to. Okay. So I can see if anyone's there. Okay, from the master bathroom to the north, master bedroom. Uh, It's been used. Nobody made the bed. There's also some half empty bottles of wine sitting by the pillows. Uh, to the south, where Nebula's peeking in, that is a walk-in closet. All right, if we take the... Bedroom's been used, and by the job, bottles of wine has been used recently, so we'll probably want to go the opposite direction, because we don't know when they're coming back to finish their drink. So, yeah, I'll we'll head into the walk-in closet. Okay. Got some it's nice suits we'll and dresses in here. Uh, it's not teal. It's not teal. No, no. It's a dark browns and a little bit of grays. But uh, you got some nice clothing in here, some casual stuff on the side, some nice shoes. Smirk, maybe you can get some new clothes. My clothes are fine. No, they're not. Yeah. This is your... <laughs> I, no, Nivix thinks so too, right, Nivix? Right? Mm-hmm. He is yeah. looking up from his computer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nivix is working. The laundry. No, Nivix laundry. agrees with me. <laughs> uh, Nivix, you are disabling the fire alarm, is that correct? Yeah. I'm- I'm at least, you know, seeing what it is right now. Like the, if, if it goes wrong, have the escape plan in, in position. Okay. Well, it's definitely one of those smart homes where you can turn on and off certain electronics if, you know, with the right codes and all. 
Uh, you could disable the fire alarm. It will tell you that's not recommended, but with a good enough computer role, it's not going to stop you. Okay. Well, yeah. Be ready. Be ready because this is, might end up being the ghost signal. Okay. But yeah, she's making her way to the laundry to make sure that the getting things ready for this and that for <laughs> while well, I guess everyone else is making their way to the yes. other bathroom yeah. because that's what he said, but he didn't yes. specify which which one because there's one upstairs too. Slow and Rose down. is just giving cover for what appears to be the single entrance to this area, mm -hmm. getting okay. ready to body block if necessary. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, going back to the first group. Um, if Leith and O's are going to try to pass the kitchen, um, yeah, uh, Electra is going to fly over and like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I just said the bathrooms. Yes, we'll get, there's one upstairs, so we need to make sure about as well. Don't worry about that one; just the ones in the hall. That's all we're using. That's okay. Okay, but we still need to make sure and stock with any of the the various stuff that goes into said bathrooms as well. So we just need to check on the laundry if that's okay. We're not. Barrel, we're not well, trying to. They're a suburban that, house. I think they've got enough toilet paper to survive. It's not that. I'm just talking about the like the the various towels and other stuff like that to make sure they're properly done, as well as uh, again, like she's trying. Hey, to uh, if the... I can jump in real quick. Yeah. Uh, just for the sake of people listening who might not be watching or actively watching, uh, there is some like uh telepathic communication going on. I can see in the uh, fantasy ground chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, can we get some background on how that's happening? Uh, Leith has a feat that is a bit of a divine feat for matters that lets her have uh, telepathy up to thirty feet. It is a okay, general you, feat. Yeah, and it's, you've been using you've been you've been using chat to do that communication. Yes. Without interrupting vo vocal communication? Right. Yes. Yeah, that's the idea, I think. Because we can't really just say what we're going to be doing with them, like, right there. So she's sort of using, like, the look for things to to sort of communicate with what the plan was going to be with them so that they the people looking in the main room wouldn't be none the wiser. All right. And it's also been used for, like, shenanigans between uh, Smirk Fluff and Nebula as well. I think shenanigans for all of us, much like how it's used in Forgotten Ones. Uh, Smirk, <laughs> Fluff, and Nebula, it's basically, you know, just muttering outside the window at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been just yelling the... at each other. Not yelling, I hope. <laughs> well, no, but yeah, we've, we've, we've been using it. Stage to yelling. Sort of, the sort of st side just... conversations that characters would have that isn't relevant to the plot. Banter. To keep, right. it, to keep it off air. Fair enough. So if you're listening to the uh, podcast version or active listening, uh, consider that bonus features if you watch the YouTube version. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Okay. Nah, I think it's a it's an all right way to manage things, just not what I, I was expecting going into this. Yeah. But, I, uh, I, just so that everyone's everyone's aware that that's happening. Yes, there is telepathy. The, the basic gist of what has been telepathically said is, which way do we go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the conversation is basically I'm here in this room, I'm here over there where are you? They're kind of just mm -hmm. and the maid party can, is giving it, cover for the break-in party to actually find the target yes uh, if uh, I can make one request is that if you make any like actions based off of that telepathy you let people know how that's how you're communicating okay, I will do like, so Okay. You know the the, the, the party is split into two groups between like the, the the side bathroom entrance and the main hall. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just to narrate what's going on visually for the sake of those who are just listening. Um, so the maid party, the main the maid party is in the main area of the house with the guards and are generally distracting them. While the other half of the party has snuck in and getting into the laundry area where the target is to try to get her out. Correct. Just wanted to just wanted to uh, kind of establish that for anyone listening. Thank you. Yep. No problem. I'm sorry. I should have thought about that. It's all right. Uh, well, uh, you were. Th the thing is, you were thinking about it. You just didn't say it out loud. That's <laughs> I, <laughs> um. May I ask what Virginia Stock is doing on her chair? Uh, Virginia, she's just sitting on the chair. She was 
eating something, a uh, cake, we'll say. And she's just watching you all. She's kind of studying you all. Okay. Well, while they do that, I'm going to go do my job as a maid and go to this other bathroom. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, returning to Electrolock and Ten and Barrel. Um, they well, are. Oz is specifically getting out of sight while he's hiding because he has one more shenanigan he's planning to pull when he, but it's about to happen or what he thinks is about to happen happens. Gotcha. But we'll get to that when it happens. Okay. And uh, Leaf, um, yeah, they are a little agitated that you're getting a little out of, or I should say getting farther into the house than they're comfortable with. And she's, again, like she's looking very cowed, very thing, but she's trying to sort of have the professional demeanor from like, like you, this is, we have, we are professionals. We have standards that we're trying to do. We're not trying to cause problems. Like she's very, trying to be very, very diplomatic and very, I can, which I can roll diplomacy if need be. Sure. And What's the DC part? versus Karen's? <laughs> <laughs> I want to speak to your manager. I want to speak oh, Lord. to your Did manager. Like okay. Um, you don't really change their attitude any with an eight. Um, I mean, yeah. it doesn't make it any worse. Just they're getting a little standoffish with you wanting to clean the rest of the bathrooms and they're only wanting to limit you to the main bathroom in the hall and the half bathroom across from it. Okay, and she'll sort of take a moment and I guess we'll, we'll, if they can give her a little bit of space to step back, well... Yeah, they'll, they can give you space. Yeah, because like, they're sort of both there and she can't, she's not going to try to push past or anything like that, but she'll sort of uh, step back and sort of, I guess, mentally try to reach with the other ones that are nearby. It's like, I can't really get any closer to... Uh, the uh, the laundry room or anything like that to try to find more. So, sorry. And she's going to try to go to the half bathroom. Okay. I will need uh, stealth checks from Nebula, Smirk, and Nivix. I can possibly manage we that. We had <laughs> <Smirk>. <laughs> So God you had a bad damn it, Nevi. <laughs> Nevi, get the goddamn bag. No! <laughs> All right. This is what happens. No. <laughs> Nebula, when you get to the position where you are, uh, entering the laundry room, you see basically what looks like a little inside room there, and you see the filly. She's locked in a little, basically a pet carrier. Okay, she, it's it's time at this point it's you know smirk get the camera because if I'm we have photo of it if something happens then well this is how we found her smirk is more thinking smirk it's time for gun um uh but what happens is that uh, the filly coral she sees you nebula and she just squeaks help and that gets the attention of the guards as they kind of all look toward that hallway and then look to each other. What is she say? You know. Okay, interrupting with prepared action. This is okay. why I said Oz was getting out of sight. Yep. Oz steps to the front door, or, or Oz transforms to the filly and steps to the front door. I assume you need a disguise check? Please. Well, you didn't totally fail. Well, you can always look like the filly. That's the one nice thing about with chain with the changeling special is you do look like the filly. It's more pulling off the disguise, right? Um, and tries regardless of how well it is. Uh, it was pulls back into the hallway. Bye bye now, and it's the best imitation of the filly's voice he can manage, and then runs out the front door, hoping to get the guards to follow. I, I guess I could use a bluff to help. With the, with that with the aid, I do have to roll though. So probably he that would be the help to with the um. Side note: Where did the shell end up? Uh, I, I think that went into. I think Leaf has it. 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I have the shell at the moment, but. I love that, how I remember saying yoink, and then everyone said I couldn't have the shell. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I kind of. <laughs> yeah, but that's the bluff to sort of draw attention um, back this way with the 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 little filly as a. Um, shouldn't you be? She would be. It was sort of the the loud. Shouldn't you be in the house, Miss? Little Miss is what she would say. The distraction works. Uh, two of the guards, that would be Virginia and Tannen, are flying out the front door to go catch the filly. And uh, Electra stays in the house, but is watching her companions to back them up in case the filly gets a little too far. But she's expecting that two fly adult flyers can catch one little grounded pony. Okay, cue the Benny Hill music. <laughs> Yeah, always just booking it to pull the fires away as far as possible. <laughs> okay, so are they out of the house yet or no? Uh, we'll say, uh, for the sake of what's going to happen, uh, everybody roll initiative. Yep. Oh. oh, oh boy. This can only go good for everybody. I'm surprised this worked. <laughs> oh, wow. boy. Wow! Oh, boy. We bad. Wow! <laughs> okay, then. It's Neb rolled her okay. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, so. Coral goes first. <laughs> to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, I mean, she just kind of leans into her cage at the door she can't get out of course because she's locked in but she's just big pleading eyes that's really all she can do <laughs> okay ne nebula are you trying to slash no, I had way too many screens open, and then I clicked something accidentally was the thing that I had my damage link to do. It's all right. Okay, uh, Electra goes. She will kind of slide over to Leaf and just kind of whisper, uh, ignore the filly, we're just house-sitting for a friend. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just... just... Finish what you're doing and going. We we got a long day. Okay, uh, I will. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. Virginia, flying over. Get back here. I will give you your cookies if you are nice and just come back. Okay, that's Virginia's turn. Uh, Leaf. Okay, even that it's brief um she's going to say to the the people that are there that for her the rest of the party and all i want to make sure if 30 she could reach everyone but nivix unfortunately for range okay and but nivix and o's and she's going to say uh, lectures next to me if you've got a plan i'm being watched so i'm going to delay until an action happens that someone else takes a, a, action against her but i'll have a, a mind thrust prepared to cast on her Okay. Well, I was going to say, it doesn't say, I'm just looking at this, could use the biohacks as a syringe. So it's one of those, if needed, just, you know, you're going on a trip. But yeah, she's basically it's continuing to carry. Just pick it up and play it on, on Smirk's back. Yeah, she <laughs> sort of looks to be cleaning sort of a little bit distractedly. But. Sure. And I assume Nebula relays, we found the target. Yeah. She's in Do a pet you. crate. I'm still playing distraction. Yeah, okay. That's it? Just distraction? Yeah, basically, I can't really. I'm, I have a prepared action ready in case something someone takes offensive right. action against uh, Electra next to me. Okie dokie. Nebula, mm. eyes are on you. Yeah. Um. So do slowly want to approach her in the cage, and it's like, hey, please, 
Please don't scream again. We're here to help. I'm sorry. Okay. She just kind of points at the lock on the little pet carrier she's locked in. Um. Hmm. It's like, do we want to want to break this the right way or the fun way? It the is a pet way. carrier. Yeah. I mean, your choice. Uh, I will say it's a pet carrier. It's not like a heavy duty lock, so it won't take too much. One or two points of damage should be sufficient to break it, unless you want Just to try don't it. melt it shut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I want to try it and get rid of the lock the fun way, with, which is with a a glowing sword of energy. <laughs> okay. It doesn't do flame damage, which is the nice thing about it. But Despite it look- what it looks like. <laughs> No, it does uh, corroding damage. Yep. All right, well, um, <laughs> don't have to roll to hit it because it's not going to dodge for strange reasons that we can't understand. So you break the lock, and uh, she is free. Good. Uh, this way, we're going we're gonna to make this like one of those cool spy movies. We're going to jump out the window. Okay, she nods, being quiet. And... All right. So and take the rest of my movement to go back towards <laughs> work. <laughs> okay. All right. Tannen going out. <laughs> Just basically flying out <laughs> after Virginia, who's after O's, who's disguised as the filly, and nobody's the wiser. The plan is working perfectly. For now. <laughs> Come on, kid. Just get, get back in the house. We're not playing here, okay? To make us put you in the box. Okay, Smirk Fluff. Yes, 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 yes. Um, okay, so is the kid with Neb and therefore with me? Yep, you have the kid. If I take a um if I take the run if I take the f- run as a full action. It says in... Oh, no, that's in a straight line, and I have to turn corners. That's a shame. Actually, is that um pretty much directly in front of me? Is that a door or a window? That looks like a window. That's like a window. Here. Yeah. The thing directly to your left? Yeah, yeah. a window in the... Uh... Right yes, that's a window. Why is there a window in a closet? It's that yeah. same house, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, These are actual house plans I downloaded. I don't question it. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Um, She's a tiny... Is she tiny or medium? She's tiny. Carl. Okay. She's, she's um, a tiny then, kid. yeah, I will... I'll grab the kid, and I'm going to move... So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, I'll jump the window, if that's possible. No problem, yeah. Yeah, she's she's small enough that you could like fit her in a pet carrier. <laughs> awesome. Kid, you need to stay in the pet carrier for five seconds. <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll give you know I'll give the sort of signal to Neb of like I'm a- uh, you know I'm heading out and then grabbing the kid and running, and well not like run action but like heading out if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And that'll be it for me. Okay. Icebreaker. Things are going down. Yeah. I mean, sure enough, for a moment, I was th- I thought I was someone else. I don't know why. Um, I was double I was double checking the rules to see whether or not I have this right, because uh, I guess I'm doing a combat thing. <sighs> um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my full movement. She's not flying, right? This house no. is not 30 feet up. No, I mean, there's vaulted ceilings in like the family room stuff, but she's on the ground and she's basically talking to Leith. So she is completely focused on Leith and not you. All right, just wanted to make... Flat-footed AC. That's right. Mm Mm-hmm. I just wanted to... Let me just double-check my thing here. Uh, Plus four bonus. Okay. Uh, ma'am? I found something really strange in this bathroom. And I'm going to trick attack her. (laughs) With okay. my stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Go of for course. it. Um, so it's a DC 20 plus the target CR uh, bluff check, but I get a uh, plus four to it. So okay. let me go ahead and add plus four to this roll. We'll see if I get it. That is a net. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if I succeed at the check, I deal an additional 1d4 damage and the target is flat footed. <laughs> I don't even um, come close, so yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, let's see, you can trick or startle a foot. Well, it's a the, it's a flat thing. It's a DC twenty plus the CR of the target. Yeah, I didn't even come close with that. <laughs> it's not something you roll against. Like it's basically yeah. what he rolls versus, like to be able to. Yeah, the- it's oh, whatever okay. whatever the challenge rating of Electra is plus twenty is what I have to beat, which I did. <laughs> oh, it's swimmingly, yes, yeah. yes. Sorry. Um. So yeah, I have to, it's with a small arm, so that's success. And I think I still technically have to roll the attack roll. So I you guess, know, I, I hope I don't fuck this up. Well, she's flat-footed, so. I think that's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is so much a hit, yes. That's a okay. 21 portal. <laughs> so firstly is this, and then another 1d4. So four damage of uh, uh, non-lethal shock damage, and she is flat-footed. Okay, and then that triggers my ready to action. Yep. Okie dokie. Ready to action. Oh, got it. Yep. I need, it is a mind thrust as a piercing spike of pain and agony uh, goes through her... Uh... Darn it. Where's the cast? I'm not really used to it. Oh, there we go. See, we'll save for half. And so let me go. Am I rolling the will save? Yeah, you yeah. do roll the will save here. Versus 14. Okay. Nope. She takes uh, four, four more points of psych, uh, psychic damage as an ag- this agony mentally splits from that as my mind thrust goes through. Ooh, man. You cleaners are really just cleaning it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Elec- Electra is reeling so bad from just the one two that she doesn't even have a chance to even alert her companions who have already run out chasing what they think is the Philly down the street. <laughs> Speaking of, O's, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm guessing these flares are probably faster than I am. Uh, they're no, they're, they're not exactly athletes in the flying department, so they can keep up with you. Unless you're trying okay, to but, uh, run. Straight out running is is probably not going to lose them, right? No, no. I mean, they can't okay. eventually catch you since flying. They can easily turn corners faster than you. Right. So what I'm going to do, um, so they're kind of ground level right now despite flying right correct okay so i run down the street and around the corner so referring back to the street map um notice that there is the house next door so i run behind that um quick change into a random unicorn and lie down quickly to look like i've just been overrun and notice specifically i'm changing when i'm not in sight of them okay um, do you need a disguise check for that? Yes, roll disguise. Okay. Okay, so that's a move, and then I think it's a standard action to do the change in setup and stuff, and swift to lie down. So that's my turn. All right. So you turn the corner, you change, you fall. And the two come around the corner. Virginia just keeps going. I, I'm just pointing down the street in the direction implying where, is it, where the target just went. It's just She went that way! And Tannen kind of stops, kind of looks at you, uh, looks down the street, and just keeps going. Just barely make that one. <laughs> and I'm lying here watching them go. Yep. 
Very good. Very good play. I like it. If you rolled one point less, this might have turned out differently. <laughs> so, skinning your teeth. Well, that, that's why I did it in range where my companions could still find me if things went bad, rather than taking a, a round or two to keep running. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Excellent play. Uh, Nivix. Uh, things are going down. Uh, you've got the Philly secured. Looks like Has part of the part. Has there been any alarms? No, no alarms yet. The alarm does mention that there's like, you know, two windows open and a front door, but nobody's paying attention to the alarm. Okay, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah nebula i could but the other other thing is you know if there's any information it would probably be in the study like information based on what was going on with the company if we want to investigate the death perhaps i used to have to deal with electra and eventually the other two returning empty hoofed That is a fair point. Do we want to want to just haul ass out? No, I'm if, interested. Let's if he was in communications range, he'd be saying, mission complete, let's book it. He's not in communications range, though. Okay. What is yeah. the plan? Yeah, I can't communicate with you, so forget anything I was going to say. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the that's the thing is, yeah, yeah I can do the alarms, but do what you think is how right. Much, how much of a trace do we wish to leave? Define a trace. We've already attacked one person, so they're going to suspect something regardless. Yeah, so if we make it look like a basic break-in burglary, that would throw throw it off a bit. Our person. I'm going with Austin. <laughs> okay. Oh, Austin! <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> well, do note that the two people that have assaulted Electra, as far as Electra knows, were maids from the cleaning company, so they're going after the cleaning company when they get back. Yeah, they don't know we're here. <laughs> no, for the moment, you guys managed to beat their perceptions just well enough. All right, so make like Zoidberg. <laughs> like, I would probably get upstairs real easy. And then just out the window. So, Nivix, what are you going to do? I guess I'm going to see about... Ugh. <laughs> many options right now, because, yeah, I could... I go fire alarm, we go arson, but... Well, it's we go team. upstairs, and then we fire. Then you fire alarm. Then I arson. Come on, you want to see the pretty fire? It's pretty fire. It's all blue and red, and it looks really pretty. Plus, we can burn this bloody teal room full of teal. See, this is the most important thing that's going to get burned. Is that room? No Note one in the no one in the world has to know about the pure teal room. <laughs> no court would convict me. <laughs> Game master note to self: never put another teal bathroom in the campaign. Here, Digo, I just wanted to make jokes. No, it's cool. It's just funny. I'm just adding to it. Uh, okay. Uh. You, you certainly have options of what you can do. There's, there's really not much in the way of wrong answers here. You, you're free to cause good trouble if you want. <laughs> Plus, at this point, you know, if it burns down, the alarm will cause distractions. That will be correct. A fire will set off the fire alarm. That's going to distract Electra. That will probably eventually get the other two Pegasi to come flying back, seeing why the fire alarm went off. And if you guys all run out the door by the time they figure it out, the fire department's there questioning them why the house is on fire. Because the fire marshal does not joke around. 
not in a mm -hmm. nice neighborhood like this. But the important and question is, do the Pegasi lose their hats? It's not even their hats. <laughs> it's not it, even their hats. Yeah. It's, it's the house of the dead scientist. Yeah, it's, it's the mother's house, and she's dead, and these guys are basically just kind of watching it. They're squatting they're, they're, in it. No, not yeah. the house. Their hats. Oh, their hats. As you know if what? If this goes south, they're going to be in deep trouble. They're, go they're going to lose their hats, definitely, because this is a bad plan for them. So I'm definitely doubling down on my on the fire plan now. Yeah, Listen, I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely for that, but it's one of those what what can we try and gather and get out with? Take right everything now. take Up everything not nailed down and then I'm throwing an incendiary grenade in, in the window on my turn. And setting myself on fire and jumping out a window and landing on Smirk and we're riding off into the sunset. Do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> all right nevix yeah i'm going out because uh, it's one of those if i go through to get to the study i have to deal with the lecture and that's another variable mm -hmm. to deal with, so and she's already been roughed up by the other two so it's not like she's fresh oh. for a fight <laughs> Wait, is the the study study or whatever is in the attic? Because I thought that was a. Either one could have stuff in it. Yeah. Honestly, we'd probably need to split up. This is true. I mean, out of character, they didn't want you going this way, or upstairs. So. No. I'll start heading upstairs then. So you want to move yourself? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Because you, I guess from there you'd be able to see Icebreaker having used the stun gun. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to basically do, you know, the pony kinesis target, and you know, like the little spelled out letters or symbols, just the target secured, steel run. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sounds good, I guess. Okay. The filly is holding on to a big griffin for dear life. <laughs> okay, Locke. She is not happy. I wonder why. Yeah. I'd be concerned if she was happy. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you know, she's, she's going to pull a knife out and stab somebody because it's that kind of day. So Nerd. let's see. Not me, not me. Random Question. roll. Yeah. If I prepare a biohack in a in a you know syringe and pony kinesis it to someone, can it be used by them? When it leaves your company, it remember the rolling. Yeah, on that? you have to use it yourself. Okay, it, so it, I'll have to get it to visual range to dart her. Yeah. Which isn't that far. Figure you move two steps into the kitchen, you could probably see her in the hall. Yeah. All right. Uh, Electra's going to step over and stab Icebreaker. <laughs> it's been that kind of day. Mm hmm. There's a 22 stab? I think a 22 stabs. Let me double check. Uh, what's my stabbing number? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take Oof. three stabby damage. Is that uh, wounds or stamina? Stamina uh, first. Stamina first. Yep. Okay. Fatigue. Fatigue. Yes. <laughs> and she's like, you guys are the best or the worst cleaning crew. I can't decide. <laughs> and she is just just anger at this point. <laughs> That's it. Make makes sense. Makes sense. All right, Virginia running around the streets looking for a filly, not finding it. Wonder why. Hmm. Leaf. Okay, I'm gonna take a guarded step down here, which puts okay. me out of melee range. Yep. And I'm going to use my last uh, first level spell, and use another uh, mind thrust. Oh boy. Yep, DC 14 on the save. 
Wow, that is almost a one. Okay, that is a not save. <laughs> she takes six more points of damage. Whee. Just loving that mind thrusting. She is not happy. She is not looking good either. She is looking tired and just mentally drained and mentally stabbed. <laughs> All right. Two, three, four, five, seven. I believe that's everything. Oh, yes. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Just want to confirm. I don't want to go can too you... far ahead. Yeah, guarded thrust, guarded step can only be used as like a full round action. So it eats up technically my move action by doing so. Right, right. Just want to make sure you didn't have like a, a free action or a talk. No, know. I don't. I would. Thank cool. you, though. Uh, Nebula. We can dash and just use movement for action, right? Say that again? Yeah, you, you can, can take dash. a full action to just run. Yeah. Because yeah. I can basically yeah. get upstairs into the attic room if I dash. Oh, okay. You certainly could. Possibly what? flat Nivix against the wall. Hi, Nivix. <laughs> okay. What? You're in C. Okay. Um, you basically see us in the attic space. Most of it is unused, but uh, there's the half bath. And in the northern part of that attic space is basically just a little office with a computer. Some, you know. It's very clean. There's hardly anything on the desk. I mean, you've got the little desktop computer. Uh, the keyboard, you know, the accessories, and like a little pad, like a, a like a, what do you call it? A, a iPad. It's iPad. data pad. Like a data pad, thank you. There's a data pad sitting on there. Uh, nothing's on currently, and doesn't look like it's been used in the last few days, because the owner probably died. Yeah, so that's probably where Nivix is going to go on his turn, try and, you know, get what data he can. Okay. I mean, pass me the data pad, and I can go downstairs with it. Unless you want to go out the window <laughs> on the second floor. I could see. I could, but I also have to go set things on fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities: <laughs> fire first, then escape. Okay. Um, smirk fluff. Awesome. So uh, we're still going with the burn the house down plan, yeah? Just real quick. I can't stop you. <laughs> the, uh, this, the, burn, you're not anyone, so it's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say burn down when when we're on our way out, but it also gives us a re- gives a icebreaker and less a reason to carry the knocked out Electra. Damn right. Um. Awesome. So, because, you know, this bathroom is a travesty against all bathrooms ever, uh, I really can't. This is a really dumb idea. I'm not doing Do it. Do it. Way. You can't. Uh, yeah, all right. So, I am going to take my incendiary grenade, <laughs> throw it into the bathroom, take the kid, and go. Just go this way. Okay. I would like to take a moment to salute the fallen right. toilet and it put up with too, with too much crap to be allowed to live. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that was a mercy killing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Somewhere okay. in somewhere in Seattle, a uh, uh, an interior designer is going. <laughs> cut out, Dan. But I think I got what you were saying. He cut out at the perfect point too. Okay. Self censorship. So, anybody still in the house will hear a poof as the grenade goes off, and there's a fire in the bathroom now. At the end of this round, the alarm's going to go off. And that's my turn. Have fun. <laughs> hey, Icebreaker. No, totally turn it off. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll see how well this works. Uh, continuing the uh, maid who has no idea what's happening and also just got... Uh, is Someone is trying to freaking stab her. Um, oh my gosh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And let me go ahead and roll bluff again. 
Ah, damn. That is not going to work. So it's not going to be an operative trick. Okay. I still think I get to shoot her, though. You still can shoot her. <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll just go with a regular roll. Let me just do it on her. Ah, it's a miss. It's a short range miss. Oh, well. All right. <laughs> Do you want to try to move, or you're good where you are? Uh, well, I mean, if I move, I get stabbed again, don't I? You can well, use a guarded step to move five feet in the direction. Mm. Or you could get stabbed. I mean, I'm perfectly okay with that. Also true. <laughs> uh, let's see. Reasonable, uh, as a totally reasonable maid, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, get to the door. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to book it and just take the chance, yeah. huh? Yep. Okay. So, taking a chance. That's a hit. That's a hit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, takes Ouch. a swing. You take I have three no, way up. I have no more stamina left. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, is it an action to close and lock the door? You can do it in a move action. Okay, so it'll be next turn then. Okay. All right. Ah. O's. You are in the clear. Okay, I will... Making sure the other two uh, Pegasi are going off down the street, walk oh, around yeah. back around the corner of the house, turn into uh, Virginia, and let's say wind up a move action away from the front door. Okay. Okay, disguise check. Nice. 21. Yeah. <coughs> and good. That's probably my move, or that's probably my act, uh, turn. Yep. All right. I need to roll to see through that. <laughs> probably do, actually. Okay, real, real talk. Do we want the alarm to go off or not for this? Because it puts us on a time limit to get out. Uh, we're getting out now. Okay, so I'm going to go and see what I can grab from the data upstairs. Study. Oh, you're, okay. oh that's right. Uh, Nebula is grabbing that, so I'm going to head towards the study. In which case, she's getting a dart in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Oh, and she's facing you guys, so... It's either the dart or she takes the the injector sword. Hit her with oh. whatever you feel appropriate. Yep, you can go. I if have, you want to go with the sword. Go for it. Well, I have better with the. Uh, well, it really depends. Do I use my int to stab with the pony kinesis? Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. In, in that rate. case, in that case, I get a plus four. All right. So Go this ahead. is going to be loaded with my uh, pharmacology inhibitor. She's getting a hallucinogenic stab. Oh, boy. That is going to hit. Yep. Must... It target gains the encumbered condition and must make a fortitude save or gain entangled. Mind altering poison. Ooh. Constitution. Oh, come on. That was her best save, and she didn't even make that. <laughs> I'm rolling terrible on saves here. <laughs> okay. Well, she's tripping. <laughs> so I guess you got your. Plausible deniability when the fire department shows up and the fire marshal sees her just screaming on the porch while the house is burning. <sighs> and reason she attacked a maid too, so right. So as basically as we're leaving, it's you know file file a complaint, you know, slip it into the company's net <laughs> that you know I was attacked while on duty. And, you know, just put the paperwork in our favor for this, hopefully. Excellent. All right. 
top of the round. Coral, yep, she's hugging on to that griffin, her savior. Lock, oh boy, Electra Lock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she is not having a good day. She She's having the worst day. Okay, uh, encumbered condition. Uh, slows her down, I believe. Uh, encumbered and entangled. Oh, I'll do okay. both of those. Half speed, cannot run or charge, and take a minus two to pretty much AC attack rolls and reflex saves. Initiative checks and dex and ability checks. Pretty much everything. Okay. <laughs> so basically, S-O-L. Okay. Oh, oh I, don't, I don't technically get flanking yeah. because it's way, so... Oh, well. Yeah, she, she takes half speed, then we gets another ten feet taken off of that. Okay, so she can move five. <laughs> okay, so... And that's about it. <laughs> okay. Kind of moves toward Leaf, but... She can't even see straight, so... Yeah, just... Kind of stay... There's like three cha- three people in front of her. She doesn't know <laughs> at this point. Oh, boy. Like, how she... close to being, like, knocked out does she look? Very. I mean, you kick her... Once and she'll probably turn over. Head yeah. up. Leith is going to take a uh, guarded step and pull from the folds of her polymorphic clothing uh, the pistol and shoot. Okay. The nice thing is, if we act- pistol is it? it's a uh, non lethal one. Okay. I was like, do I have to patch, patch her up <laughs> on the way out? No, no, it's a mercy pistol. It's mercy. If it hits. Yeah, because she takes a lot of AC penalties. And that's going to hit. <laughs> okay. Have mercy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot it's a D6, not a, not a D5. Okay, well, two for that. No yeah. Problem. yeah. Okay, she is out. <laughs> okay. But yeah, she is stable, though, so. She is stable because she took a lot of non-lethal first, so. She's wounded, but not terribly so, but she's definitely unconscious and having some really great dreams. <laughs> well, some really that's... interesting nightmares. Yep. I guess now's yeah. the time when, I guess, it's, we're sort of out of combat, aren't we? At this point, yeah, you're out of combat. Um, if you don't disable the fire alarm, the fire department will show up in about 15 minutes. Well, I think probably we can pin this on them as causing a fire for whatever reason. Oh boy, weren't they working on something literally in the kitchen right now at this moment? Yeah, there is something cooking on the stove. So there you go. We've got, we can just drag her out as she's unconscious or whatever and <laughs> blame it on the fire. Is Nivik going to get the food on, since he's in the kitchen right now? Nivik's going sure. to... <laughs> but she's going to hide the pistol again back where it was and Drag a help drag a Alex, uh, Electra out here. Okay. Just going to drop him off on the porch. Sort of take her a little bit down on the steps and all, and sort of um, at the fight, because she's going to have to sort of stay there because they did see maids coming up and in. So, yeah. So, yeah, she'll drag her out here and sort of be waiting there. Okay. With everyone else. So, okay. Um, Icebreaker's going to go into the study, just grab the computer and drag it out. <laughs> just, okay. un- yeah. just grab as many plugs as possible, not worry about the actual, like, trying to secretly get the data or whatever, just physical yeah. object, drag it out here and, and yeah. have it ready for yeah. Nivik. Yeah, it's basically just going to be, you know, haul the, haul the electronics in the getaway setup. Okay. By the time of um, electric... By the time Icebreaker gets out, she sees Electra literally beside herself. <laughs> yeah. And you really want to do that in front of the security camera on the porch? Uh, you, were, you were disguised as Virginia. Right, yeah. so he, so obviously Oz is going to go someplace out of sight of the cameras to change back once he sees what's coming out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, he's not changing inside of the cameras. Okay. So, will he disable the cameras this this time? I mean, nothing's stopping you right now, other than you have 15 minutes before the 
fire department yeah, shows up. Yeah, yeah. So Nebula is going to grab everything <laughs> that is in the attic, put it in her bag, run down the stairs, shove her bag at Nivix, sit on top of the stove, and say, run. And then she's going to set herself on fire. Okay. Well, then. And you have about five seconds before she runs the entire length of this house. And then we learn that it's a gas stove. (laughs) I'm... I'm, (laughs) I have fire resistance. (laughs) I don't think you have resistance to being exploded. (laughs) It's fine. We're probably having a hot time tonight. Yeah, actually, it, it's an I electrical. Have, we'll say it's electrical stove, so we'll be all right. Actually, in Neric form, I do have immunity to fire damage, like complete immunity. Okay, Not so enough. I'm fine. All right, we will say that uh, you've got the computer in the study, the two computers in the attic, and you get away before the fire department shows up and finds a unconscious tripped out Electra. Uh, Ten in Virginia will see the fire and see the fire department coming up the road and they're gonna, like, not get involved right now and they'll just rescue their partner later. I was gonna say, well, we're dragging her out. Is there anything in her pockets? Just her weapons, if you want to take her weapons. That sounds like a plan. Maybe let's not because they need we need proof. Well, I mean, let's not like hide them. Let's because I need proof that I got stabbed. <laughs> well, the knife, no. But if there's anything that we can probably throw like back to the rest of the party. But uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, she, I guess we're leaving her with our stuff. Too, but okay. So you three at the porch of the steps wait for the fire department. Yeah, because she did assault a one of the maids. Okay. So, so yeah, fire department will show up. They immediately, uh, you know, hook up to the oh, fire. Just here's yeah. a question: How the hell is Nivix getting out without being on camera? Because there's fire in two spots. How uh, Nivix is going to get out without being? It's on had camera? 15 minutes to burn too. That's the other thing. Well, Nivix, you're a computer expert, are you not? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just. You know, flicker it and just dart out when the cameras go. aren't. So, okay. Just say that, uh, you know, the fire was probably damaging the electronics in the alarm system. So, took a reasonable 10. Yeah. Yeah. You could, uh, you could take a 10 and you could easily, like, stop the cameras from recording you getting out. <laughs> yeah. The oh. other option. Or just wait until the fire has melted through one of the cameras on the side and jump out the nearby (laughs) window. (laughs) I was going to say one of the other options is, you know, basically do the equivalent of a little thermite on the cable. But we'll we'll just go out with it. It's not looking effectively. (laughs) All right. Well, the uh, when the fire department shows up, they have... uh, crash carriage ambulance there as well and uh the medics uh, the paramedics will uh <laughs> take uh you all on the porch to uh get checked out for you know injuries and such they will note yep. the stabbing yeah please and i just got stabbed she almost she there was she turned the blade and went after her it's uh, just somewhat hysterical at the uh I don't know. It's uh, she just continues to sort of pl- to s- describe what happens with her just going after uh, uh, icebreaker there with just or the swings and the oh yeah ragdoll. Sorry, <laughs> no worries, no worries. And uh, Moses by then um, had uh, changed back into his original maid guys uh, somewhere <laughs> where the cameras can't see again. No problem. And you faintly hear Electra in the back of the ambulance just kind of mutter out, Mom, I take back every time I didn't clean my room. (laughs) 
Uh, okay. Hold on, I have one last thing to do. Sure. <clears throat> Please rate us five stars! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she gives you four. Uh, fortunately, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. All right. So we regroup later. Yeah, you can regroup. Um, because she's the, going to give the... the police have not shown up, and so you can get away before the police do and ask more probing questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. The I just want to go home. Yep. Yeah, I mean. The fire department, as far as they are concerned, you are maids. <laughs> Your disguises are good enough to fool them. They're only interested in saving the house and saving lives. No lives are in danger right now, so it's stopping the bathroom before... Well, they might let the bathroom the burn a little bit more, but they'll serve, save the kitchen and everything else. <laughs> okay, once we're all together, Oz uh, texts the uh, number they were given and says, Objective acquired. When can you meet at rendezvous? And Leith is going to give the necklace to the little girl. Like, I'm sorry I couldn't quite give it to you at the house, with, but... It's okay. So I'm assuming you guys are going to uh, text Immediate. the number you were given? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 did that. Did. yeah okay. Yeah, objective acquired. Who's when can you meet at rendezvous? Okay. Uh, they respond. 15 minutes. Be there. And it's within 15 minutes walk, right? Yeah, it, this house was close to the SeaTac airport where the uh, Hyperloop is, so you are easily able to get there. Okay, walking on over there. Okay. You get Be over to the station. And, Before uh, we get there, kid, question. Yeah? Are you really close with your aunt? My aunt? Yeah. She lives okay. down south in California. All right. I just want to make sure that this is what you want. I know there's a lot of adults around here trying to sort of force that on you. So I just want to know what it is you would like out of this. I just want to go back to my family and not be in the box. Mm, you can make sure you don't go back in the box. That's not a problem. Boxes Thank are you. bad. Well, your mom's dead, and you're probably not going to be going back to your dad, but then your dad's the one who had you put in the box, so... I love how casual you said your mom's dead. Wait, wait, what? Yeah. They, they did what to her? Like, she yeah, has a look of outrage. Yes, she was in a box. Right, that what? is one of the many reasons I set the house on fire. I yeah. should have... <clears throat> For point of I... clarification... The pet carrier was the normal place they put her. The box was when she was misbehaving. I should have thrown Electra into the bathroom. <laughs> uh, no, no. No um, child deserves that. She has a very scowled look. <laughs> it's fine. She's not in the, the carrier anymore. It's fine. She's out. Also, point of fact, she doesn't look like she was physically harmed in any way, and she was fed regularly. They no, just didn't let her emotional go abuse. Uh, yeah, it, essentially, they keep her in one little room, and she's been in there for four days. So, so on the, to... I guess on the way towards there, is there any like an ice cream place or something like that they can stop at at least? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, well, at least we're, we're going to stop there at least to give her some, something at least to, to choose and eat and be, uh, something a little nice thing at least. Oh, yeah. Coral, sure. Coral, let's get ice cream. Smirk's paying. Oh, yeah. Coral would love to get a fudge. Smirk is right definitely now. not paying. Smirk is totally paying. <laughs> Icebreaker will pay. It okay. depends on how much, money, how much it is. <laughs> Icebreaker will pay. Look, Yay, Icebreaker we'll is the best. Um, I do have one. Uh, Icebreaker does have one last question. Yeah. So I'm sorry to ask this kid, but I just am, I'm really curious. Was it your dad that put you in that carrier, or was it just those three mooks? I, the mooks, but I guess my dad hired them because they talked to him on the on the Matrix all the time, and he was telling them 
go through things in the house and stuff. All right. I just wanted to make sure I got a. I don't know. There's a weird feeling in the back of my head that something's not quite right here. So just wanted to check. Thanks. Okay. Uh, and she's going to uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever um, Coral orders, double it. <laughs> okay. So she gets two scoops of ice cream. All right. You guys make it to the station. And the Johnson is there with uh, Agent <clears throat> Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> First name Cobra, last name Bubbles. <laughs> uh, your knuckles spell Cobra. Okay. Bubbles asks the Philly, uh, do you recognize her as a She actually goes big smile when she sees the Johnson and she goes running up and you think you hear her say grandma when she goes and gives the Johnson a hug. Yeah, the Jan the D Johnson is just overjoyed and just like, you know, big hugs. They're happy. Uh, Agent Bubbles kind of walks over to the group and uh, clears his throat. <clears> throat> uh, thank you for bringing her. I am glad that uh, you have succeeded. Uh, no one followed you. I assume this was on the download. No. There was uh, no, no issues with witnesses. The one they do have is so drugged up that anything they say is unreliable. Excellent. The house was burned down. <laughs> well, well not burned down. The, the fire guys got there quickly, but we burned the bathroom down. House is inconsequential. Very good. In that case, I believe this money is yours. Uh, ice cream wow. money. Yoink. <laughs> Thank you Yoink very much. back from, from Nebula. Is it, is it 500 each or is it oh! 500? It's 500 each person. Nice. Yeah. So Nebula gets her cut. Yeah, um, don't take my money. <laughs> should the ice cream cost by the way i have 33 credits to my name it the ice cream will cost five okay <laughs> you should have made me pay for it i had 375 <laughs> dare you have money just <laughs> i how dare Holt has like 15 he's more than happy to let everybody else pay for the food I had a hundred once I bought my items. I don't know what it's currently at because I still need to get the, you know, smaller things. But the weapons and armor were bought, so <laughs> I bought everything and I still that I needed, I still had 375. Yep. She, she needed she's gonna nothing. look to what Leith is going to take a moment to sort of sort of clear her throat gently to make sure that to, that uh with uh coral shores and all, she's sort of gonna kneel down and all and go, You gonna be okay, uh kid? Yeah. I will be. Thank you very much. And she'll give you a hug. Unprompted. Yep. Yeah, she'll, yeah. <laughs> she'll smile and hug back. You take care of yourself, okay? And yeah. your grandma, too. Yes. Definitely. Have the Johnson. We'll have ice cream again if I see you again. I'll pay this time, <laughs> I promise. But she'll smile and sort of step back and let them have their happy time. Okay. No, I fixed it. Okay. All right. <laughs> that went remarkably well. I did not think it would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hyperloop train leaves with Johnson, Agent Bubbles, and Coral. You guys get away without an issue. And the, news... the data we get to go through later. Yes, you have data on three little computers, so... Have a little uh, something to play around with next time. Mm -hmm. So as the evening rolls around, the train sets off on its destination. The party seems to have succeeded, and the night is theirs to spend their well-got gains as they have uh, saved a small filly uh, from a lifetime of abuse. Congratulations. Give us. <laughs> we did the thing. And we, we didn't did even thing. kill anybody. That's yeah. excellent. We didn't actually kill anyone. 
We did I'm blow shocked. the hell out of two drones, or rather, y'all did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but and I didn't it. do anything. Most of y'all did. <laughs> I still can't believe that for in all technicalities for a run like this went swimmingly. It did. For how little planning we did, yeah. <laughs> but it was good even, planning. You, you split up in the right the numbers, down. you did the right actions, and the dice were in your favor. Oh god, does that mean next time it's just going to be us rolling nothing but your critical fumbles and tripping over our own feet? Yeah. Probably. Probably. Uh, <laughs> that one drone, though, I have to say, that just kept rolling 20s. That was... Yeah. And that was the one I had hit with the inhibitor. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm so, I don't know what happened. <laughs> our, with a, our other Starfighter, I had been in another Starfighter game, our first session, we had the enemy roll no less than six points with, azimuth la with the azimuth laser pistols. So we had one of our, our Solarian get set on fire like four times. Wow. It was horrendous. Like, I was just so happy. Everything went well with this. Like, <laughs> the bathroom, okay, I guess it looked awful enough to deserve that. <laughs> but... Yeah, it did. It, 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 it did. really did. It knew what it did. And it got what it was coming, what was coming for it. <laughs> I, I just, Listen, don't worry about it, because now no one has to, no one has to know about it. The one question I have for everyone here is, what are we going to call our group? Awesome. Well, if we're going to go with the flame thing, the flamenwerfers is possible. Oh, what? what, what? Hey, German. Your German uh, the uh, what's something to think about for things? Like, we've got to, because we... The fire motif is somewhat strong, I noted, with things. <laughs> the Get in the bag, Nevi. <laughs> All right. So that is the session. Thank you, Thank you. Very much for hosting it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for playing. This was fun. Do we have an outro, Digo, or are we just... Uh... Uh, Spud, do we have an outro? I can, I can come back and take care of that, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. That was uh, fun to watch. But uh, yeah, thank you for listening to our Spud Ventures. If you like what you heard, you can find more at youtube.com slash newbiespud or wherever you get your fine podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, etc. We aim to live stream these games every Sunday around 2 p.m. Pacific time at twitch.tv slash newbiespud. If you want to keep up with this and other projects I'm doing, you can follow me on Twitter at newbiespud. And if you want to support my ability to produce or facilitate more content like this, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash newbiespud. See you next time with more of the Forgotten Ones, our 5th edition campaign. Welcome to level 5.